Hi. Yo. What? It, oh. Well done. This is going so well. Ah. Not a poly stream if there's no audio issues. Uh. Daddy. There we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to there the bar bar. Hey. <laughs> nothing wrong <laughs> happened. Nothing, nothing happened. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, there was nothing going wrong. It was perfectly normal. Do you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I have no reason. To what lie. happened? I updated OBS. You were there. You heard it. Oh, yeah, you did. And I you did. mentioned while you're doing it. Yeah. I, yeah, this might be a really bad idea. Yeah. I, um, was it a bad idea? Yeah, German Ortega is right. Muted. No, technically I wasn't muted. Updating OBS before you... Uh, I yeah, did it anyway. Yeah. It, it's set the mic to do. Not much. Fuck. <laughs> well, uh, well done. So, Congratulations as I was saying, for finding the issue. Joining me uh, behind the bar tonight, even though she wasn't here last week because she was off doing cooler stuff. Cool. Uh, he's far, far. How are you? Hey. I'm all right. Thanks. So, so I thought uh, I, I scheduled something before uh, and I wasn't going to cancel. <laughs> and also joining me behind the bar tonight for the first time, I believe, is Gamer Valine. Gamer Valine, how are you doing? Good. I'm just sitting here on the internet as usual. But this time you're on the not looking at True. Yeah. Oh. Uh yeah, you know what? Far should be actually running the bar. I mean she's always complaining about how she like back in time and stole <laughs> ownership papers to the bar. Should she not be one time for I think so. Sure, oh, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Give me your channel details, Polly. Allow me to stream to your channel. Oh. You're not gonna let me do that, are you? Just give you my channel details? <laughs> I'll give you the password to my yeah, channel. Sure. I don't care. You make it sound like I hold my channel in like high value or something. Have you ever looked at the content no, on my channel? No, it wouldn't your actually... channel <laughs> No, you hold everything in, in like privacy wise. At, at high value. Wow. Privacy really wise, your... yeah, but it's not like fucking my, I don't know, banking information or, I don't know, letters to my imaginary friend can be read there. No, I don't write those. Where'd you get that idea? <laughs> Look, I just yeah. assume you'd probably be more like, yeah, yeah, my channel. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. You can't have that. Yeah, well, Wait, I guess I... not. Polly's the kind of person that I think would start an LLC in Delaware to register cars in Montana just to hide his identity. Yes. He absolutely would do that. What? I could see him doing that. So easily. And that kind of comment is exactly why German Ortega said things like like he, she, they, they just said, why does Gamer Valine sound like a chick? <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. They thought you were a dude. <laughs> Not the first That's time. It. Yeah, well. That's an impressive voice modulator. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I don't know how many of you have played Call of Duty on Xbox 360, but I definitely got confused for either a chick or a 12 year old boy. Uh... Either one. It could be either way. You don't know. Are you on your phone, phone, Valine? No. What do you want? My computer that had to restart after an update. So please tell me what all is broken. I'm just turning your volume up so it's more balanced with the rest of us because you're quieter than far and whatnot. So I'm just, just trying to bring everybody into into balance. Oh. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
It's Does this work better? Thank you, Reaper, for the $25. It's cold. Get me a, a hot toddy. Yeah, you know, it's cold where I'm at, too. Valene, you were in the military. You should be able to appreciate a drink that's 5,500 calories. I drink Starbucks. Oh, well, yeah, that'll get you there. I, 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 and it's not coffee. It's the Java chip frappuccino. So, like, I go full fat kid on it. There you go. So, in it's watching, like, military a military personnel should. <laughs> I watch Steve 1989's MRE reviews channel. And it's it's very interesting, like uh, MREs from all over the world and from history and whatnot. And he's an MRE geek, so he's like, "This is four thousand calories with twenty percent of protein and forty percent of like, you know, like he, he says those critical things that you know, as the military and all of their genius sit down and figure out for the soldiers what they need and what they don't need. Try not to create menu fatigue. That's a phrase I learned from there. You must be familiar with menu fatigue. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Learning new and impressive ways of recombining different MREs to create new food because, my God. I've never eaten an MRE. Really? Yeah. I've already told you this, but I uh, I got paid by the federal government to stay in a Ritz-Carlton. Uh, this is not good expenditure of my tax money. No, it's fantastic expenditure because it was in Indonesia where there were terror cells, so they put us in the most secure hotel they could put us in. Which was the Ritz fucking Carlton. Yes. It checks out. Fucking <laughs> Indonesia. Yeah. Checks out. Yeah. We were in the middle of Jakarta. That hotel had actually been bombed in 2003. So they out they put the fence further out. Nice. Uh, Slim Chauncey, yeah. thank you for the two dollars. Polly, Slim. There we go. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to copy in on uh, Drunkle's Chauncey thing. So he's Slim to me. Did you hear my theory about? Uh, oh yeah. So the MRE is the thing. The reason I brought it up is it's like you know, there's ridiculous like cold weather ones that are at like six thousand calories because you're off in the Arctic or whatever the fuck where you're at, so you're burning more calories just sitting there. But moving around, my God, just to keep your body heat up. So everything's like fatty, fatty, fat. And there's like snacks in between all of the meals that are, you know, protein bars with a high fat content and et cetera. You get it, right? Got a hot buttered toddy like Reaper ordered. I, I was amazed like with all of the fat and whatnot and brown sugar that's in it. And bourbon has high a high, ca ah, high calorie content anyway. Like, that's all your day's calories right there. Don't you want one, Far? Uh, no. I, I, no. No? I, just, I, do what no. I, just do what I did and drink a bottle of vodka. I, that's not going to keep you warm. I don't know. It works in Russia. They're, but they're weird. Like, I mean, they're genetically different. Like, it's not the same thing. I'm yeah, German. They, they it's squat close and where They squat and wear Adidas. Yeah, of course they're a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm German. It's close enough. <laughs> you know, a German and two people of English extraction. We want to get ethnic about it. Yeah. Fuck you, 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 you channel invader. We beat you. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> good, so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the uh, okay, I was talking about the MRE thing, and there's one more thing I want to talk about. Really, Demerese, what was it? I just woke up not too mm -hmm. long ago and started hitting the caffeine right away, and then started drinking, and like, wow, do I ever feel a lot of it? But I'm, I'm waiting for my head to decobweb so I can actually, you know, do a stream that makes some sense. Don't expect the stream to make mm -hmm. sense. Um, I thought you were already there. there. You were kind of, you were kind of bro sciencing us with all the calorie talk and the macro and micronutrients. I never actually mentioned the macro and micronutrients. I just mentioned. Uh, uh, you said macros. Well, okay. I think I might. Have, I might have said mac and cheese. I don't think I said mac. But, oh. Okay. I, uh, let, let me let me tell you something. We'll, mac we'll, we'll, we'll mac and cheese nutrients. Yes. 
There we go. McDonald's. <laughs> We'll, 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 we'll switch off of that for a second. We'll talk about something that Far and I have been watching for, okay, for a hot minute lately. Late, that's been um, oh, bugging God. me. Oh, God. Far knows where I'm going with this. Um, yeah, I know exactly what this <laughs> is. Of the MREs. Yeah, there's only one thing it could be. Tip the bartender. What is it? Hold on. I, I'm, using, I'm using my pre-made graphics. Their graphics look smoke and everything. He's poor. Time travel is expensive. <laughs> You know, you know, like, listen, it's tax time for the otter, for me, and like it is for everybody. But I just found out just how much I owe the federal government. And it's like more money than I actually, you know, own. So it's a problem. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Damn state government. I, it, it's bad. Yeah, that's good. It's not actually more literal. It's not literally more money than I own, but... Uh, what I am not is an e-thought. Okay, you know e-thoughts are like, oh, wow, I made $3,000 last stream. That's $3,000 for me. And it's like, you have to hold on to half of it because you're probably going to owe somewhere near that in state and federal taxes, moron. But like, you know, they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're titty streamers. So like, oh my God, $3,000. Wow, I'm so awesome. I need to bounce on stream more. <laughs> I get an OnlyFans, oh, but my dad wouldn't understand that as much. You're implying she talks to her dad still. Or ever had one. Right? <laughs> yeah. He left for cigarettes when she was 13. Yeah, touche. Touche. I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, so you end, you end up holding on to all that money because you're not a moron, right? Because you need to you know, pay taxes. Yeah. And, and, and so like, there's that part of it. But then there's the part of it where, wait a minute. Under the new state rules, you're you're not allowing me to claim the same amount of student expenses, but these research contracts are all directly related to my graduate education. I know all this technical stuff. I can't claim all the things that I was able to claim last year because they changed the rules and moving it down to the six hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, that bit your boy personally. That 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 got me personally. So yeah, uh, I haven't submitted my taxes yet, but I've been going over them and like, oh my god, it's a uh... my my yeah. what? Hmm, a, a nightmare. Yeah, it's a nightmare. It, it's this. this my... sort of... I, I need to. My move ego tells me to get. A... My ego tells me to get a PhD because I just want somebody to call me doctor or mistake me for a medical doctor. But I don't want to face that whole research thing. You don't? Or it. Well, no, just, no. just pick something like... you like that you're interested in. 15th century underwater Maltese basket weaving, for example. I'm going to school for mechanical engineering. Oh, God, that's hard. Yeah, my ego tells me to get the doctorate, and then when somebody goes, oh my god, we need a doctor, you're a doctor, that's a person, not a robot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of doctor. Oh, so the food- Is it a I'm a robot doctor, not a person doctor. <laughs> so the food thing, all right, that's where I was going with this. Okay. All right, MREs. Well, MR, MREs. off of MREs, riffing off of MREs, uh, and, and what to eat and what proper diet is, I don't know anymore. There is nothing you can eat that's healthy. That's what I've come to the conclusion of. We've been watching a, a, a meditarian carnivore guy who's a former vegan critiquing vegan channels, and rightly so, because the stuff that they're talking about is like, that's just not healthy for you, man. It, it, they're especially a bunch of them are raw vegans so they're wrapping up oh god what, like bean sprouts and kale with some kind of and seaweed and and yeah there was a sauce it was a a, a, a fake vegan cream uh sour yeah. cream a fake vegan sour cream on top of bean sprouts and kale wrapped up in nori you know the stuff they wrap sushi in for flavor yeah that was they were and they were called vegan wraps and it's like that's not a lunch when you guys were done filming did you like turn around and you know have a chicken burger yes. did, you, did you turn or just that's... chicken I... mm -mm. But, mm -mm. but this guy it's dr hobbit wr Coston, dr hobbit 
Dr. Gamer Elaine. Uh, <laughs> and Hubris is asking, is that Blaine who fights bears in the forest? That is her! That's Yes. I'm bitch who fights bears in the forest. <laughs> nice. <laughs> seaweed is delicious. Uh, yeah, no, I like the seaweed. Nice says. Just not like that. Yeah, not for nutrition. Far and I both watching it, we'd said the same thing. It's good. Neither of us thought that, that there was any real nutritional value out of it. Maybe there is in some small minor way, but that's not why you're eating it. That's not why you have it in rice balls or in sushi yeah. or whatever. You have it there because it brings in this little oceanic little green saltiness. flavor. Salty something. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, you're not eating it. You're not supposed to eat it as, like, like its own thing of, like, oh, yeah, this is super nutritious. Mm -hmm. No. It's, you're supposed to use it as, like, a a wrap of something or like on the side yeah. or mixed in there somewhere like it's never really unless it's like some kind of snack which i've seen like them come in like just you can get little strips of seaweed as like a snack on its own unless it's something like that like no that, that's not something even that snack that's not something that's like <laughs> no what the fuck vegans answer I, I... answer me you just, you? you just mentioned seaweed snacks, and last night when I was at Whole Foods for my fancy instant Ooh. ramen. <laughs> well, we, 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 we got haunted duck Do you not have a, the OBS thing? You bloody fool. Mm -mm. You don't? Do you want it? So you know when the donations are coming up, so you don't talk over them like Drunkle? <laughs> or when I'm trying to read them, just cut me off mid-sentence? Like Sinatra, <laughs> I only say he's that. not at all salty about it. <laughs> I <laughs> real quick, uh, Paul Farrell, thank you for yeah. the nine fifty. I might as well give you mine as well then. I right. love my mileage deduction. Bye bye federal and state income tax. It, well, ouch! Just, just just stab me with that salty knife right between ribs three and four. It's fine. It's, that's the soft area to stick. Yeah, thanks, Paul Farrell. I wish I had a mileage deduction. And give me a quick sec. I will send you my donation thingamajigger with the whatnots as well. And then you can know when things are happening. The only reason I bring up a Sinatra over talking uh, people's donations is because the last donation I got on Friday was from Gamer Valine. And I was halfway <laughs> through it before Sinatra goes, oh, hey, remember the thing with the whatever? And it's like, you're such a dick. You did that just because it was from Valine Ninho. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Probably. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Where are you? There you are. Hey. Oh, God. Well, what the fuck? There you go. You can go ahead and plug <laughs> that. Why, okay? Why, okay? Why is your mom like this? Go ahead and plug that URL in, and you can see when the things are happening with the whatnots. My mom strips off the nori from her sushi. It's just wrong. What? Why is she like this? It's not okay. It's not okay. I are they outside wraps or inside wraps? Especially if they're inside wraps. If you're stripping the, you're just pulling it apart. Do y'all do that in a Australia? The outside of a, wraps of a sushi. Uh, where you wrap the, the sushi? Inside wrap? Yeah, where Kate. Okay, like what? normally, you know, the like you, you roll up like a sushi roll, right? And then you cut it. A lot, yeah. right, to create the little sushi discs. Okay, so normally the nori's yeah. on the outside. Have you ever seen it the other way around, where the rice is on the outside? No. Oh, far you gotta see this. Why would okay. you do that? Just for Why a difference. Why would you do that? For a difference. I don't like this. Inside up sushi rolls. And since we're on uh, Noir Bar, I... we can bother to waste our time looking these things up. But why would you do that? No. Uh, hold on. Um... Screen, screen, I, screen. I feel like my question is valid. Uh, 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 well, why would you do that? See? Inside out rolls. In... Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> what, did see? That... See, the, the, the nori's there. It's just rolled in reverse. Instead of being on the outside, it's rolled that... around on the inside. I don't like that. Impress your dinner guests with this deliciously fresh idea on Women's Day. 
And it's from Pinterest.com. Oh, Women's Every, Day. Yeah, everyone was surprised. And make sure to put your wasabi down in a delightful little poop drop. Poop. Yeah. Yeah, can I just say that that's really disturbing how that looks like a, just a... Like poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the poop emoji. Like, yeah. Like, like, what the fuck? God, like, it's perfectly rolled to look like that, too? Like, what the fuck? Someone put a lot of thought into that, that, that wasabi oh, shit. Do you like Kern's bread? Oof. Well, gee, I don't know, I guess. You gotta, gotta be positive. positive. Oh, my God. See, I hate butchering people's names, especially when they donate in general, but especially when they donate. Harsvelger? Harasser Velger? Yeah, sorry, man. I Har Haras Velger. Thank you for the $10. Have you ever heard of the vegan that thought that strawberry milk was vegan? That's great. <laughs> that is fucking bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well. This... Was she on Twitch? It's just... Uh... Oh, I hope she was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I was that not, would, I was not that sharing would just be the, the screen. Cherry on top. Sorry, chat. Like that. Oh. There we go. There. This is what we were oh, looking so at. So I didn't get to see the wasabi shit? No. Yeah, it's like that looks like wasabi poop. Let me go back to the wasabi. Like, I'm not. I just. I didn't wake up too long ago. Look, yeah, look. there's the wasabi poop. There it is. See? We were looking at a thing. Yeah. In, in, by, uh, impress your guests with this deliciously fresh idea on Women's Day on Pinterest. Yeah. Yeah. That's not yeah, this fresh that's idea. Not, that's not about my favorite day of the year to troll my buddy. It's a magazine. Yeah, it is. I didn't know that I didn't know that magazine still existed because I remember my sister reading it. Okay, I'm gonna when... take advantage of your name one time. Yeah, fucked hard. I know you can't see it, alright? It was a mistake. <laughs> it's actually his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I dropped the ball. It's my fault. Huh? Jesus. But I... Oh God, fucking Women's Day. Where Although we? on Inter International Women's Day, my buddy's wife gets tagged in a photo from our last deployment every time. Now, yeah. Let, let's we're, just... we're all Deadpool fans. Let's just read this together, shall we? East Urban Home Delicious Inside Out Sushi Rolls Art Print on Canvas. Why? Why? Yes. Why would you want that yes. on canvas on your wall? I I find myself in 100% agreement. Just why? So it, Wish bought out Wayfair? <laughs> possibly. Who yeah, knows? Right? How much is it? Is, is it like 50 cents? <laughs> <laughs> You, you know what's no, going on here? This is the, it, it's so hipster. Like, this is when you've got, like, a black leather couch and uh, some white, like, throw pillows or whatever around. Like, you've got a general grayscale look to your room. So it's like, oh, my God, that's so cute. Let's buy that. That'll be amazing. All my friends will be impressed. Like, uh, you know what I mean? It's it's cheap God. hipster crap. I hate that I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I... Is there a 24 hour sushi joint near me? Oh, right. I'm poor. I couldn't afford it anyway. God, I want sushi now. You want me to send you sushi? That'd be nice. Oh, look. The best raw vegan inside out sushi rolls, Uranamaki. Oh, well, raw vegan. How could I say no? Look, it's got a banana on it. Everyone wants banana in their sushi. Oh, God. No. <laughs> What was I going to look up? Can for? you imagine how oh. that would taste with the rice? I know. <laughs> I know. Like, uh, imagine how it would taste with the uh, uh, the wasabi. Wasabi and banana. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, fake gamer cat. Sir Fatness Lucifer is asleep behind me. He is not in his usual chair next to me. Ugh. Vegan strawberry milk. Is this... Is this someone just making vegan strawberry milk? Yep. So you start with strawberry sy syrup and apparently lemon juice and uh, gravy? That makes sense. I, oh, The gravy makes less sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Is this going to be like, yeah, this is totally vegan, but it's like vegan cheese where it's technically not really vegan because it has like uh, fucking, what was it, yeast or some shit in there? Because <laughs> you know it's just, as for the milk, it's um whatever, almond milk or whatever the fuck, soy milk, or yeah. fuck, right? And then they, they just put some strawberry puree, uh, whatever, in there and some sweetener. Did you know that soy actually increases estrogen in your body? Did you want that cake for? Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Frank, for the three dollars. <laughs> I don't know if it's been a long time or not due to not being very regular here, but I see you have a labs now, so you caved. We win. Glad you got a stream labs far. Also, hello all. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I've had it for a bit now. But, uh... She has. And donate yeah. to her. But donate to me first, because she's working and I'm not, and I have high taxes, and she's used to high taxes. <laughs> I'm an American. I'm not used to high taxes. She's used to it. It's... Not really, still, but... I yeah, mean, not okay. really. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, actually, yeah. So far, far as I'm plans to move to America it, yeah. eventually, and when she gets here, it's gonna be like she's you know, she's gonna like Valine, she's gonna look at one of her pay stubs and go, "You mean I get to keep this much?" <laughs> oh, so she's gonna so she's gonna do the inverse of what I, what I do when I'm not being an asshat and and not having the image to the front. Um. Oh, I cried when I saw my W-2. I w well, internalized crying. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I saw how many things I... How many things that I could claim last year that I can't claim this year. That It's not like, uh, I don't know, claiming something fucking ridiculous. Like, you know, oh, I, I went out for lunch this one day and... I'm going to say that I, ha I had a business meeting. So therefore, I'm claiming the entire value of that lunch, the entire receipt, including what the other person ate, even though they paid in cash and I paid everything on my credit card. Therefore, I'm claiming the entire lunch as a business meeting. You know, that kind of crap? No, that's not what I'm referring to. I'm talking about stuff like, wait a minute, you mean the entire income I got for, for that research project that paid me like three grand, but it took me like four months to finish it. So really I was working for like below minimum wage for the whole thing. You're, you're gonna take a thousand dollars of my three grand um, that really, what? that, that hurts in a way that like makes me want to bayonet an Englishman over taxes. Like it makes me get very American revolution about the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like it, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. No, that's not, that's not right. I wish I was making that I up, but that's true. I, I just, God, that hurt when I saw that. Cause I just, just using the software. As it runs through, and then I'm like, there must be an error. So I called and inquired further as to why does box number X have this deduction amount now, or it, it where's the previous deductions that were allowed? I say, oh well, th that has changed, and it's like, oh my. Well, I uh. Yes, Spectre I, made almost... I am crying in poor. It's true. This is what poor sounds I mean... like, and I'm crying. <laughs> I made almost twice as much as I did as an E5 last year. Mm -hmm. And I took home about the same amount. Because as an E5, almost half of my income was allowances that were not taxable. Gotcha. I paid almost as much as in taxes as my taxable income was. Oh, that was after the deductions. I'll tell you, it was $24,000 in taxes after all the pre-tax deductions to lower my income. Have you not plugged in our donations things yet, Valine? They're not... I didn't... <laughs> they were popping up at first, and now they're not all of a sudden. No. It just talked right over Fars. You can play it again. Uh, yeah, but do so. <laughs> Actually, do it to see if it works. Okay. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Hey, uh, it's thank not you, giving Pat me sound. Oh. Okay, so click on the thing. 
where we, like, it's unmuted. Well, do, do you have a slider bar for it for volume in the center in the audio mixer? All the way up, all the way up. Okay, a and you've clicked on uh, monitor, right? When you right-click on it, advanced audio properties. So click on the little cog beside the slider. Mm-hmm. Go down. Yeah, to I. Uh, okay, just check, just check. Well, mm, wasn't I telling you about OBS earlier this week? Yes, but who's the one who's running it you... properly right now? <laughs> okay, well, your monitor was on and Fars was off, and I set up yours the exact same way. I, well, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Okay, if mine is running properly, then delete Fars, duplicate mine, and then change the URL to Already... Fars. Already fixed it. Uh, if I could reach through this microphone, I'd give you such a shake. So thank you, Platty. Yes. For the five dollars. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Polly. I donate to whomstever I want to. Also, goat bondage. I feel like I'm missing some context there. Yeah, I didn't say it. you couldn't donate to Far. By all means, donate to Far. What the hell? Platty's <laughs> mean. Freedom. Hug me, doobie. Thank you for the dollar. If you must bayonet him, ban bayonet if you, must, if you must bayonet anybody, keep in mind that triangular wound are nigh impossible to stitch in Minecraft. Bayonetti is my favorite video game. You know, that's why in the original 1994 crime bill, they put a uh, bayonet lug as one of the items that identifies a firearm as an assault weapon is a bayonet lug because of all of those inner city bayonettings that had been going on. Really? The last part was a joke. Just, just, yeah, that, okay. I, I thought so, yeah, <laughs> but just... It's like a bayonet lug? Hello, really? Me. Why? Well, we don't want you attaching a bayonet to your rifle. Because the public safety risk of people bayonetting each other? What are you even doing? It's just, this is what happens with politicians who have never picked up a gun, but yet have paid for by the taxpayers' armed security following them around all the time. Make up laws for gun control. This is what happens. I was complaining about something. Bayonetties get banned. Yeah. What the hell was I talking about? Fuck, I don't even remember now. Uh, I was Strawberry milkshakes? Like the, the vegan? Vegans oh, the, well, yeah, the vegan thing. Vegans in general. Well, yeah, I... Right, because I was thinking it was something to do with vegans. It, it was the Mediterranean we were watching. Yeah, it was the meat. Yeah. He, th this guy goes the opposite direction where you need the carnivore diet. And I'm like, okay, I don't get this. If you eat too many eggs because of what's in the yolk, not the white, your cholesterol, the bad cholesterol will go up. Your serum cholesterol level will go up, which can possibly cause arterial inclusion. O okay. And meat uh, from animal products has a lot of cholesterol in it. So if you're eating meat and you're not exercising regularly and you're not taking in enough roughage, your 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 bad serum cholesterol level will be too high. O okay. So therefore, eat more fruits and vegetables and grains. Okay. But if you eat too many fruits and vegetables, they're full of anti-nutrients that block you from absorbing the nutrients that are coming in from other things. Listen, chat, everyone in the bar right now. There's nothing you can eat. Everything will fucking kill you. Everything's cancerous. There's no body that can be fucking trusted because all the nutritionists disagree with each other. Everybody on YouTube and on social media disagree with each other. You can't eat nothing. Air will fucking kill you because the environmentalists say it's poisoned. That's the decision I've come to. Just just, just give up into nihilism. Eat what you want because just, it's all cancerous yeah, and you're all going to die. The risk of death is always 100% right <laughs> well on a long enough timeline <laughs> everyone's want, uh, survivability drops to Start zero you will see there's the thing i i there, there is something that can be said of diet in general if you're the size of amberlynn you're the size of chantal yeah you're gonna die it's your diet that's doing it it's not yes yeah but when you're trying to <clears throat> excuse me aim for something healthy you know what the hell is that Oh, I don't fucking know. Eat a balanced diet. Yeah, but they all claim it's either full of cholesterol or anti-nutrients. You can't win either way. Well, then go the middle road. Um, well, then you're bringing you in do? the worst don't of both. Um, excuse you. It's called an Arctic beach bod. <laughs> it's I insulating the layers. Of a, of a seal. <laughs> uh, it... <laughs> Arctic 
Waddle, Beach waddle. Fog. I'm very healthy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's, it's just the Arctic. Okay, I looked up Arctic beach bod, and I just got pictures of the Arctic. So it's uh, it's fine. Yeah, he, the Arctic is beach body ready, guys. This, this guy ain't living in the Arctic. Who are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Steve Rogers here, Captain he America be. himself. He's not living in the he Arctic. Could be. Yet. You don't know. You could just actually really kind of looks like that Arctic weather. It kind of looks like they photoshopped the head of the guy who played Cyclops in the original oh, three he does. X-Men. You're right. It's the first one. I know, I know exactly who you mean. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it looks like they photoshopped his head on to Thor's body. I'd start clicking on the bikini girls, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's not going to work. You you could show half naked or mostly naked naked men in in speedos with thongs on and it'd be fine as soon as if I clicked on this lady with her big old titties like that would be it the stream would would go down and look I'm gonna go ahead and just turn safe search on and <laughs> Jesus you Christ that was it on? I did I know I had it you off. were it's... really playing a dangerous game <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> I will say that guy had a bigger chest than I do, and I'm not talking about his room cage size inherently larger as a dude. Oh yeah, he's got. I remember when, over on Cocktail Hour on Weebo's channel on Sundays. You should tune in and watch. It's great. It, it, it's it's when Sinatra steals all our viewers. Uh, you can. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you just uh, ignore me lurking around. <laughs> so I mentioned bottom nipples. It's, it, it, and we both was like, what are those? I'm like, when a man grows his pecs so big and his body shaped in such a way that his nipples are, in fact, on the bottom of his pecs. And she went, wait, what? And started typing away. You should have, if you go back and watch that episode, she freaked the fuck out. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Humongous, thank you for the dollar. Humongous what? Um, uh, look up aquatic ape theory. We're supposed to be 600 pounds, bigot. <laughs> okay um i will what say men have it just proves men and women are different because men's nipples go down women get implants their nipples go up <laughs> that is uh... a fair point point them towards the ceiling guys <laughs> i'm trying to find that picture of uh They're aiming for the sky chris evans the sky is the limit chris evans coming out of the uh the chamber where where you got the super soldier serum and the vita rays just look up daniel just look up daniel craig and james bond in oh, casino oh, royale he's... there it is okay see this is what chris evans looks like okay yeah the man has not obviously has obviously not skipped gym day and that's great for him like he good for you you've obviously kept a good diet and whatnot this is cgi the man has moves Those are moves. Yes, he does. Yes. They they gave him implants. I like just, women's yeah. implants. See, look, look, look at them greasing them down. before. This, this is what happens before a porn scene. <laughs> Dude, look at this. It's literally <laughs> two women greasing them down. Do you see this? Like, this is... <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> this is great. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus. See, that movie is exactly why I can't see him as being hot. What what movie is this from? Not another teen movie. And he's got a oh. banana between his butt cheeks. Oh, excellent. Ah. Uh, <laughs> see, th this this is again. Christ. You, sir, are attractive. Yeah, those are fake moves. Look look at the um striation marks that they've put on his pec muscles actually pressing against his chin or chin against his uh, uh pecs it's like come on guys it, it's just like this is this is chris evans yeah you obviously haven't skipped gym day good for you okay these are moves cgi moves it just it bugs me it bugs me. Listen, I could be on film too and be like, Wah, Super Soldier, 1942, fuck you. Like it, but no, it's not real. Hey, that was the only way they could hide the bumps from him waxing. I. <laughs> Molly O'Cammy says, I wouldn't mind thumping those melons. Yeah, see, I. <laughs> 
I get it. I get it. Jesus. Oh, I'm just, the, I'm totally not CGI'd right now. And you know what? I've pointed this out to people. With Chris Evans and all his glory. Yeah, I know. Let's go look at some anime titties and call those real too. I. You want me to get a very specific gift for anime titties? I do not, because I, I know the no, one you're thinking. No, of actually, and, no. And, no. What the one that they're fluffing? Yes, where they're bouncing up and down oh, and <laughs> it, to to a, yeah. a given rhythm, no one can hear but her titties. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love that gift so much. I remember saying this to uh, a lady friend of mine, <laughs> and she she said, "I think I hear a little bit of jealousy." And I said, "How how could you not understand the point that I'm making? That in the previous scenes, in every bit of the movie, right up until then, they had put Chris Evans' head on a tiny little pipsqueak body to the point where he looked so frail, like you could snap him in half accidentally." That was all CGI, but all of a sudden, when he's emerging glossy and moobed from the machine, it's got to be real? Did you think it was real two seconds ago when he got in the machine? When the general says, holy, or the senator says, holy crap, get that kid a sandwich, because he's so damn small? That was all CGI. That wasn't Chris Evans. It's not like, you know, oh, Chris Evans, you know, become emaciated and eat nothing for the next you know 18 months so we can film you as a skinny little guy no they just shrunk up my computers and i get that and i think it looked awesome they did a great job because it made him emerging from the chamber like holy shit that super soldier serum man where can i get me some of that that's awesome but it's like no women just want to believe see l l leave men in their their fake butted instagram models alone is what i'm getting at it's like you know that well, they did this they did the same thing with 300 but that was definitely for the dudes just to be like, yeah, they're Jack Spartans. Gerard Butler was Gerard Butler and Michael Fassbender were the only ones that had visible abs. Everybody else was CGI'd. Yeah. 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 See, I watched 300 with a lady friend, and I was all down for the uh uh you know Persians, put down your spears. Or Spartans, put down your spears. Persians, come and get them. Like, I was down for the Frank Miller awesomeness. The hot lines and Leonidas being a badass and the Persians being creepy fucking weirdos and et cetera, right? That's what I'm there for. She's watching. She's like, oh, my God, that guy's so hot. Now, why? Now, this is the same lady. Keep in mind that if I make any comment about how beautiful a woman is, a fully clothed woman. We're talking about guys wearing tiny little, like, leather panties here. Okay, and she can make all the comments in the world about how hot and sweaty and awesome they are. I make one comment about a woman's face being pretty, and she gets bent out of shape. There's a big difference between men and women right there. I saw Lena Headey's titties before my guy friends did. In the movie. I noticed you could actually see your titties before they did. What movie? 300. <laughs> oh, the scene where she's leaning over, uh, playing with the water? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know this. Lena Headey. She's 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 something, man. Holy Christ. Yeah. Okay. Far. Are you ready for the thing that I told you that it, you would be able to appreciate? Oh God. You ready? Yeah. All Here. right. Here we go. Tuna and waffles. Oh God. What in the fucking 1975 is that? <laughs> It's a 70s dinner party. <laughs> you know who sent me this? Mm. Sinatra. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so it's cream of mushroom, mixed uh, cream mushroom soup, mixed That's with tuna, right. poured over top of waffles with a couple of olives. This is no. This is hell. <laughs> no. This is hell. No. Make it stop. Don't, don't put this on waffles. <laughs> yeah, hubris fuck? is right. Just just vomit, right? I mean, cream of tuna? Yeah, Are you fucking kidding me? Cream of tuna? I. No. Yeah, cream of tuna. That's just... Nothing sounds worse than cream of tuna, except for a pot of cheese salad. I don't want to eat food that smells like the girls I avoided in school. Well... Uh... Oh, hey, Big Dro. How's it going? I'm a big fan of the Noir Bar. Yeah, that's why you're awesome. Somebody want to go ahead and block Ingram McCall, who's totally not a Russian bot at all? Yeah, uh... Thank you, Gamerboy. Um, chicken and waffles are good. 
right. they are they go, the, the crispiness and the oiliness of the batter on the chicken and then the the waffleness and the syrup and all that, that it all goes together very very well okay. this like, this I is i think a that's weird but i understand it a little bit at least yeah because i mean i still want to try pancakes and, and bacon Beat game so that's I... right she's right Big gamer cast right. Give this to prisoners of war. That's my plan now. If I have to become a mercenary, that's oh, how I'll extract info. May God have mercy on their souls. Jesus Christ. Someone else mentioned. Uh, Although in saying that, do you want the recipe for a party cheese salad? Because that would also go down very well in that situation. I want to see if somebody <laughs> put up a cross-sectional picture of the party cheese salad, like a slice, oh, so we could God. see it all the way down. Do they think they did? I, none oh, of these things that? are party cheese. Oh, that's a stacked salad. Uh, that's not terrible. It's, kind it's of not salad. terrible. It just looks really weird. It's, I mean, it's yeah. food art. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing in here. Is like we eat fresh peas, fresh corn, lettuce, and whatnot, and and hard boiled eggs. There's nothing wrong with this. And there's there's chunks of cheese in it, cheddar and whatnot. Or I think that's marble cheese yeah. actually. There's nothing bad going on here. It just looks really odd. It's just... <laughs> I think it's feta. Oh, is it? Okay. No, I'm down with feta. Okay, party feta, cheese. Feta would hold its shape well. Should I put in Aunt Myrna? There's the party cheese yeah, salad. There we go. Aunt Myrna's party uh, cheese oh, salad. Oh, God. Woo. There Ooh, it is. Fuck. In all of its fucking glory. Jesus. What, what the fuck is that? It's a party cheese You've salad. You've never seen a party cheese salad, have you? No. Holly, do we need to play the video? Well, I, let's just go right to I've the been, ingredients list. Uh, I've been hanging with <laughs> Becca, and her and I have been exposed to, like, really bad cooking channels. So yeah. I'm, oh. I'm very worried. There we go. Yeah, okay. uh, what's the name of this guy? Like, Jack's Cooking Jack's show, Cooking, I think it is? yes. Cook, cooking with yeah, Jack, Jack's I cooking. think, is Cooking with Jack, I think. Yeah, and this name, is but, yeah, uh, his claim to fame. Coins are back, Cooking bitch. with Borders is the one I got exposed to. Oh, okay. Um, thank you, Frank, for the dollar. Oh, shit. Tuna, tuna with elbow noodles, mayo, and whatever else you like to mix in is delicious. That wouldn't even appeal to me after drinking all night. Okay. Uh, well, if it doesn't appeal to the tuna fan here, uh, you know it's bad. So you asked what, what it is you're looking at. Yeah, what you're looking at back back there okay so what the hell is that right it is an even mix yep. mixture not put in separately just all put in together and that and then the cheese uh tossed on top before the cheese is tossed on top everything is just evenly mixed uh youtuber youtuber <laughs> i love it thank you for the dollar how much to witness the glory of aunt myrna live i uh, you could join the 500 club or or the golden otter club <laughs> There's only so many gold otter cards to go around, and uh, you know. Pay me five bucks. <laughs> I, to, to, to make us watch the whole Aunt Myrna's video from Jack's cooking. Oh God, you're asking a lot, man. I not I, really. I, I had a sandwich way earlier on, and that's all I've eaten today. So I'm just surviving off coffee and liquor and nicotine, and, and you really want me to? God, look at that! Yeah. You, you, I regret everything. Oh, you want me? This to is someone else making it. Oh God! Yeah. How but anyway, that, how have we managed to make it look worse? I know the ingredients. In case you're curious, are uh, two small lemon or lime jellos, uh, a medium-sized can of crushed pineapple, uh, eight ounces of cream cheese, one green pepper, one jar of pimentos, half a cup of chopped celery. Eight ounces of Cool Whip, which is the whole fucking container. They just dumped the whole container in. Uh, half a cup of nuts and uh, shredded American cheese over the top. And then you just let it, you don't need to cook it. You just let it settle overnight and it kind of just, because of all the jello in there. Solidifies. Yeah, it congeals and becomes like you cut square slices out of it. And it... Ugh, look at that. Yeah, it's not good. If you It's want not good. It... If you want a jiggly dish, just get clear, plain gelatin. Don't, oh my God, Jesus Christ! Yeah, dead wing sure as hell yeah, made it, it hubris. You're right. It was. Yeah, and it, and it was but this is to see. why I have um, 
Yeah, but this is why I have a theory as to how this thing came to be. Because in the 70s, right, you might have noticed, they really do love just putting everything in gelatin. Yes, they did. Like, anything and everything they could possibly manage to put in there. Mm -hmm. They just love doing that. And this is the result. This is the final result of someone looking at that and going, I can do that better. Mm -hmm. This explains so much of my childhood as to why I did not get jello as a kid. Yeah. That's that's how we came up yeah, with the game. Like, Is it jello? Everything. Yeah, because it was just <laughs> there was so much of this shit that it's like I... sometimes it looked like it was jello, sometimes it didn't look like it, but it was totally jello. It's like yeah. <laughs> Perfection yeah, salad here. Let me let me Perfection salad is still fantastic. Change windows. Just for the name alone. There it is. Like, there's nothing perfect about that at all. Nothing. It. Oh god! Can you imagine biting into orange Jello and there's like crunchy vegetable bits in it? What the oh, fuck? Jesus. <laughs> that looks like my soup when I freeze it. That's one thing. <laughs> it's frozen yeah. soup. Yeah, but this is just a thing. Oh look, and, and it's from the Midwest. That's Thanks, nice. Midwest. Explain yourself, no, Sinatra. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is no. That's not okay, because we don't do that shit here. And my guy's from Nebraska, so no, 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 no. That's some Iowa shit. Nah, I'm blaming the Midwest. It says the Midwest on it. I, it does. Yeah. Why would they but... lie to me? Check. Yeah, but Iowa was an. I was an acronym. Oh god! Oh, dude, look at that! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. Oh, god. <laughs> I can't shrink it, but it does say the Midwest at the top. Far as not kidding. Yeah. I yeah, but Iowa is an acronym. Idiot out wandering around. Right then. Oh hey, Pop Tarts here. Hey, you like your Pop Tart? How's it going? And yes, we should figure out a time where we can DM and talk. Because Pop Tart, she's so hard to get a hold of. She claims we're friends and then never returns my DMs and is so hard to get a hold of. It's totally a lie. I'm the one who does it. I'm the opposite. I DM you at weird random hours. And you thought you were an insomniac. Well, yeah. Next <laughs> my Oh God, it's coming for me. That's right. <laughs> Dun, 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 it feels dun, dun, so dun, dun, ominous. <laughs> no, they're like the bastard little. Br Cleveland is not the Midwest. They are the bastard little brother of Baltimore. I feel like I'm learning so much about American relations. It's, it's, it's called an ass pick, and, and yeah, you're not wrong. Like a head cheese yeah. Is, is yeah, technically an ass pick. You you shouldn't be eating it though. And I mean, just the, doesn't the name ass pick like, I mean, no, it's not spelled like that or said. No, like it that, does not. It, it sounds fine. terrible. Yeah. But while we're here, look up head cheese. Oh, no. Why? I was just asking what this was the other day because we were, t I was watching something on animals and we were discussing, and it was part of a discussion on what kangaroo tastes like. And it's a weird in between. It's not good. Ven no, it's fantastic if you broil it. It's a w weird in between of um, venison and steak. <laughs> yeah, and I still don't like. <laughs> it's it's a this it's it's a bloody Christ head cheese. Yeah. They mixed in the blood with everything else. Oh, oh god. God. Let's go with uh, oh. all sizes, large, so we can see it in all of its horrifying glory. <laughs> And you don't want to watch the party cheese salad, but you're fine with this. Oh, party cheese yeah. salad is far yeah. worse than this. This is, this is. Yeah, it's party cheese is lime jello with bell pepper. <laughs> you know, it's fine this is... until like, they start adding all the weirdo shit. If they left of the pineapple and possibly the cream cheese, it would be fine. I stand by that. What? But like. I mean, I, there's worse. I've been to Scotland, and they kept trying to get me to eat haggis. Yeah. And they do fry everything there. Oh, my God. Have you ever had a deep-fried Mars bar? Oh, nice. I don't like candy, so no. Sweet. Yeah, 
It was good. I liked it. Just, uh, I would not have one of those multiple times a year. <laughs> it's gonna go ahead. And, my God. It's gonna go ahead and tweet this out with no context. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. There we go. Yeah. Fine. Oh. And I will. <laughs> <laughs> There's no oh problem here. Everyone what? will love it. There that you go, internet. So Enjoy. Long to send. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh lord. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It's so gray. It's <laughs> Why is it gray? <laughs> Holly, why is it gray? I have no idea. Holy shit. That, that looks like that hundred year old meat they found frozen in a cabin in Antarctica. Right? It really does. It looks like something that's been defrosted after it's, you know, had all its moisture pulled out and it's gone through all kinds of oxidation and whatnot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, did you see the cabin where they found all the meat, all the food that was still sitting there frozen for over a hundred years? Uh, no, but I can picture no. it. This. Hang on, I'll find the name of the cabin. It's kind of insane how what they found inside of it. See, I don't like how they've rearranged it because they've clearly had a piece of head cheese, and then they cut it up and rearranged it. It looks like. Like Andy Warhol art or something. I. Why did why was the star necessary? <laughs> you, Who was it? <laughs> was any of this necessary? <laughs> you, you you don't like it? I I I you know it's it, it's. No. A, it, <laughs> you can't make this attractive. Okay, cutting it up into no. little pie pieces and arranging it like a star. You you can't make this thing appetizing. Why did you try? <laughs> Fuck no. Just no. No. Should, should we go on to, to stuff that's unrelated to disgusting food? Should we do that? Uh, perhaps. It looks like a Hellraiser yeah. puzzle. <laughs> uh, where should we start? Where should we start? It's the um, Robert Falcon Scott expedition in Antarctica. And oh. it's called Scott's, Scott's Hut. Scott's Hut, eh? Yes. And they found a hundred-year-old fruitcake that was... By all means, still edible. Well, I mean, oh. whether or not it's been frozen. It's just, okay, so here's Scott's hut. Uh, okay. <clears throat> no, go uh, back. No, that, yeah. You, you, don't, you don't want turf builder grass fertilizer? It's very, it's very vegan. I don't think that's uh, what No, I live in the about. desert. I, no, I live in the desert. Why would I need that? <laughs> there was oh, one where they had... Want some tough. There Ooh. was one that... Yeah, so like those... Um, Let me see if I can find the one with the meat hanging in the cabin and I'll just send it to you. Mm -hmm. Because there's an actual like... like cut of meat hanging... <laughs> Why does that look like something like that that guy that opens really old cans and buy it on an estate sale? God, look, look this far. There's things. Non-distinct things hanging from the wall. That's not terrifying or anything. Cursed image what? What are you talking about? It's fine. Yeah, that is incredibly cursed. Yeah. Holy fuck, that is cursed. Yeah. Like, are those people? Are, this, are those people? <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, what? I could write an entire short horror what? story on, just based on this one picture. I just... <laughs> what I think an animal is that? <clears throat> I think it's a seal, because they have... They have hips... Well, it, it, it looks like yeah. the hindquarters of 
a deer or a moose or a cow or a you know something that's got four legs, right? Like a yeah, quadruped of some like sort. That, yeah. It looks like the the rear hindquarters of one of them type animals. I I got nothing. Did they did they bring pigs with them? Is it a pig? I, I, I don't know. They if in the early 1900s it wouldn't surprise me because they had steam going ships. So they had electricity on board where they could store food. Okay, so far, I got good news for you. Okay? Okay, what's this good news? And, and this, this good relates news to Antarctica. For you or me? Well, this is good news for you. Well, it's good news for everybody, but particularly you. Because it relates to actually to Antarctica, you know, cursed image, and Australia at the same time. The ozone layer hole okay. that was once larger than Antarctica is closed. Oh. That actually is good news. It, it is good news. Look, that, that hole that was there, it's closed. That's it. It's done. Scientists of the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service, CAMS, are ending 2021 with an announcement worth celebrating. The Antarctic ozone hole has finally closed. This is for the Weather Network. It's not some made-up bullshit. The ozone layer was once larger in Antarctica and reached a size, uh, its maximum size on October 7th. It is the 13th largest since 1979, blah, 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 blah. It, where it was more than 95% closed, et cetera, et cetera. It, it, there it is. It, it closed up. And so what is what do they immediately go into talking about? Uh, it's because the Montreal Protocols is often cited as the most successful political initiatives aims at protecting the environment. The agreement, which was signed by 100, regulates the production and use of dozens of human-created chemicals that are ozone-depleting substances, particularly damaging is the chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. So you're assuming, without any evidence, that it was not a naturally occurring phenomenon, and that what you did in a short 25 years fix the damage that humans did over hundreds of years of industrialization. Is that right? Is that the story you're actually going with? Because it was supposedly unfixable. Once you got rid of O3 in the upper atmosphere, there was no way to get any more ozone up there. It was permanent. There's even episodes of Star Trek where they talk about ozone depletion and so on and so forth because it's from the late 80s, early 90s, like Star Trek TNG. We we're talking about like atmospheric repair because in the future they can repair it because it's permanent, the damage. No, it just closed on its own. So global warming being human caused that is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. Yeah, fuck you. Like, I believe that you know, it's occurring, but it's sort of out of our hands because the atmosphere and the environment has always been changing on Earth. That's why, you know, certain areas used to be under ice and no longer are. That's why, like, North Africa used to be a wonderful Greenland where you could plant anything anywhere, and now it's, like, Libyan desert. Or just, just, just saying. Was that caused by humans, too? Just point that out. So what's the thing, Far? Slap, slip, sun? What's the deal? Slip, slop, slap. Yeah, yeah. Explain that to the people who aren't from down under. <laughs> but slip on a shirt, slop on some sunscreen, slap on a hat. I think that's what it is. That's the exact order. Yeah, because... They've other, added some uh, new ones to it, which I found out, and that was like, okay, now you're just overcomplicating it. Yeah. Which is just like, why? Why? Just... Keep it to the three. That's good enough. What the fuck? Yeah. The idea is that, like, because the ozone is so depleted that ultraviolet rays are so intense down under because you're so close to the ozone hole that's closed now, you need to put on sunscreen because you have higher rates of skin cancer. Oh, no, that's not what that is. Not not entirely, anyway. That's just because it gets so fucking hot. Really? Because I was always told it was yeah, the, the, the not, rates of skin cancer are really, higher in Australia. It's like, are you sure it's yeah, just they not because they spend they more time are, in the sun? Like, rates of skin cancer is higher. Yeah, like that is absolutely a thing. But that's more what that whole thing is targeted towards. Not really. I don't think they really ever say, like, because of the hole in the ozone layer. Or at least not much. It, it really is. Just Maybe not for you, thing. but for us, that's exactly what they told me in school. All jokes aside. They were like, yeah, down in Australia, there's mandates and, and, and they push it in the educational system to put on a high SPF sunscreen because the whole the ozone layer is giving all of them skin cancer. That's how bad we are as human yeah, beings, blah, it's blah, blah. Not really, like, yeah, like it is mentioned, like, yeah, there's a hole in the ozone layer. Like, I remember that from being a kid, but like that, it's never really combined with the slip, slop, slap stuff. 
it it's literally just to prevent skin cancer. Do this. That's that sounds like the system in Florida. I know when we were there the first time, it was in the middle of your summer because we were there in February. Um, yeah. Actually, I was there this time seven years ago for an air show. But we went back in July to Darwin, but that's clo significantly closer to the equator. I was wearing shorts in yes. the middle of their winter during dry season. Right. Um, yep. It's kind of like, the, it to me, the way the climate worked there was a lot mm -hmm. like the U.S. Melbourne being very, very far south. They have more of a temperature swing, but your places like Sydney are more temperate, similar to the Carolinas. And then places like Darwin have a wet and dry season, like our most southern states. Yeah. What are, yeah what, what, what's that environmental good, group? Uh, I was I'm looking at it. <laughs> What's the environmental group of environmental extremists or cultists? They're my favorite cult group. Uh, I always uh, call them the... Extinction Agenda, but that's actually an X-Men story. Yeah, Extinction Art. Rebellion. Extinction Rebellion. Thank you. I keep going Extinction Agenda because that was an X-Men storyline back in the day. Extinction Agenda. Rebellion. Damn it. But... I did it again. I've yeah, been drinking. You, it's I just told I've you. I've been you drinking. The it's fine. <laughs> it's <laughs> there. They uh, are oh. my favorite cult ever. Look at them. Aren't they great? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The red robes. <laughs> we. Oh my god. We miss religion really bad. We want ritual in our lives. We want meaningful clothing <laughs> in our lives but we're a bunch of crazed sjw's what are we going to do well here's the result <laughs> us plays queen amidala yeah. yeah right right even the gloves <laughs> this is great i mean no no show more of them let's let's see all of them rebel for life yeah well the ozone healed itself no it's because of the montreal accords uh-huh uh-huh you, you mean like the ozone right. hole above you mean like the ozone hole above the arctic that he closes and opens every year <laughs> no you're not a cult at all not even a little it's fine not yeah not at all uh, holy Queen shit i think i know my... that's a dude yeah. Is it though? <laughs> He's in a dress. <laughs> oh, the, you, you, they're you, all in robes. But I mean, I get they're the nice. Queen Amidala thing because like the cloud white makeup, right? But you even did your beard, bro. <laughs> like, and you went with a red lipstick. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god! And I got hooked on birds aren't real. I found my new favorite cult. <laughs> I look, look, look at the. They, Tell me you wouldn't think that they're in the middle of a melodrama musical. Look at her crying to the audience. Feel my pain. Look at look at this person clutching their heart. These two are just crying for Mother Gaia. Oh my. Okay, so the guy so the guy on the lower left, he actually penciled in his eyebrows even further. Look at that. And he did like the straight yes, line across for the Groucho marks. Yes, he did. Look, and look the guy in the middle, <laughs> look he's got the special hat. That's their cardinal. <laughs> Oh no! Wait, there's there, look. This guy's deadly yeah, serious. Yeah, there's another one. He's got the Egyptian eyes. Well done. Yeah, tell me these idiots aren't just cosplaying with the face makeup and everything. I mean, I, <laughs> I bet you I could get a Queen Amidala costume and blend in with them. Yeah. <laughs> these people are, are so priceless to me. They are like, you know, they're killing people and they've got bodies somewhere. I mean, you don't do shit like this and not <laughs> end up with bodies in places. It's come on. I, Mother they God, they were going to see environment. They had to go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So, what flavor Kool Aid are they drinking? Is it the fruit punch? <laughs> it's flavor A. Flavor. It's flavor A. <laughs> Great value brand. <laughs> they drink the red cordial. Uh, I, 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 just you people. They've got matching face masks for the COVID era. Oh my God, yes. Where? <laughs> they where, really where, where? look like they're wearing burkas. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they right. are, right, yeah. yeah. 
that that's what really healed the ozone layer is their uh extinction rebellion right no no no, it wasn't them it it was it was the covid mandates we slowed down human activity and that's what allowed mother gaia to heal the ozone layer oh they're special ones oh my god luna luna gave her power to gaia (laughs) to heal (laughs) echo concern a new religion question mark why are you asking the question? The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at them. This is obviously a cult. Yeah. It's we miss religion. We have no meaning in our lives. We have a giant hole in our soul. We need to fill it with something. Just let's, like in the ozone layer. Yeah. Let's let's fill it with extreme moralizing. <laughs> we get to dress up in everything and accuse everyone of bad things except us. Yeah, yeah, the good guys. Do you know how many tiny Chinese children it took hours at a sewing machine to make these costumes for you guys? Do you, do you know? China, the worst they, uh, no, uh, they uh, climate they offender on the planet? No, no, no. It wasn't to make the costumes. They did sew them themselves. Because I can see the rough hems on it. It's how many Chinese children lost limbs weaving the fabric. Yeah, at the... At, <laughs> and the manual looms they're still using in Chinese factories. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> look, look at this. Look at this. Uh, now, oh. the question is, Polly, okay. though, is it Jello? <laughs> <laughs> the song is Let the Body Sit the Floor, Not the Pond. We're only two colors Let away the from body Voltron. Sit the nice, random American. <laughs> nice. I appreciate the reference. But this guy's like, where's the Black Power Ranger? Look at these. Well, there's the cop right there. That he used to roll. He's too white. I've seen the original Power Rangers. <laughs> he needs to be black. Yeah, actually, he was in the first, in the original one, from my childhood. <laughs> ah, these people are priceless. Like, you'd think when they're getting dressed and putting on their clown white and doing their red lipstick, like, at their homes and such, right? They don't look at each other and think, Janine, are we crazy? Why would you think that, Steve? Like, it's, do you know what I mean? Like, why don't you ever have this conversation? Because most of the time these people are just rich kids that are really fucking bored. Well, from what I could see, they're all middle agers. Like they all they they don't look like particularly young, if you know what I mean. Like they're not these yeah, are like no, particularly young people. I didn't know my sister's dad was smart enough to start a cult. <laughs> I mean, yeah, these are not particularly young folks. This is I, I remember Sargon doing a stream on it where he was talking because they were the extinct let's just call them extinction agenda, because I'm never gonna get it right. Extinction agenda. Um the uh because uh, they were they were protesting in in london and they were talking, like, and he was making the argument how is this not a cult by the way they have these strips of fabric and they hold out their hands so it looks like blood is dripping off of their hands because humans have blood on their hands for what they've done to mother earth oh my god but, uh, you see the strips of fabric it's on purpose <laughs> so, uh, i see them yeah so what's the symbology on this <laughs> Uh, again a a need for i'm just i don't know my degree in psychology is coming out i just see a need for ritual and a need for belonging and a need for meaning and you are bereft of all of these things in your life so this is what you came up with because it was trendy now instead of just walking around like getting instead of wasting your time with the costumery getting more people together with more placards to you know protest not in the middle of the street to make a spectacle of yourself because that's really the point they want to go through the ritual behavior of something that's that brings some sort of meaning and purpose to what they're up to so why don't you go talk to the people that make policy on things you know legislators and stuff like that instead of wasting your time on the costumery get more people together with more placards you know effective things i saying. actually uh, wait 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 i just thought about this so that chick was wearing velvet right mm-hmm so these people are making costumes and I'm looking at what it they're looks wearing like right it now. Does. Blue and green velvet. That's kind of what I'm seeing. And and the the sleeves are real stretchy, right? Yep. So all this blood on humans' hands, 
You mean like the petroleum that has to be drilled to make that fucking lycra bodysuit that you're wearing? Hmm. There's no apocalypse that is a here. Fantastic point. <laughs> in, in case you're wondering, like, what is the symbology with this thing? It's supposed to be a um, an hourglass. Time is running out. Have you not seen Boondock Saints? I have, but it was a good long time ago. When they when they go into the room with all the mob bosses dead, oh, they discover this, points it, it, on the eyes and the guy. You mean sim Symbolism, that thing? Yes! <laughs> Symbolism. <laughs> oh, Green Goblins. The Knights of... Oh, well, thank you, Justin Wilson. The Knights of Knee. <laughs> the, the Knights of Neat? Is that what it is? Yeah. No, the Actually, Knights of Knee no. from... Uh, Monty Python. Oh, okay. I thought you went with the Knights of Neat as in, not in education... Um, what is it? Well, Employment, education, in... or training, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you could call them nice and neat. That that also works. Yes. Because it, it, somebody else mentioned, how, don't discount the fact that they might be trust fund babies, etc. And it's like, yeah, fair enough. You could be a trust fund baby in your 40s and 50s easily. I mean, that's my plan, but... I just plan to marry rich. I'm just waiting on uh, my parents had my parents had me as a midlife crisis. So, I mean, it's only a matter of time before I outlive their siblings. So. so uh, OK, so you guys know how I like looking up small town news, because what's big news to them is hilarious yeah. to us. You know, right. Uh, yeah. I, I found a pretty peak one. Bus stop sign kneels over in West Kilbride. The sign fell over. I that's the news? That's the news. The sign fell over. Yeah. Just so you know, the sign fell over. Hi, Sinatra. The sin and he just texted me. Oh, he texted you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he just texted me and went, Symbology. <laughs> 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 I, it's, so it, it's it, and here's the full story the sign came down at the Overton well, uh, well Street stop overnight between Friday and Saturday Counselor Todd Ferguson thanked a constituent for alerting him to the damage he said bus stop sign on well in Overton has kneeled over and is in is and it's been reported to the road team for replacement that, that's it that's right. all the news that's this is important in uh place in Ki in West Kilbride. This, this is important. Okay. <laughs> That's um... Having a real wild time in West Kil Kilbride. Yeah, you're right. It's not kneeled over. Keeled over. Well, I've been drinking. And, and thank you, Callum Corral for... for uh, senior reporter Callum Corral for... <laughs> Only, they only get the best men on the case. I was just about to say, top men are working on it. It's <laughs> did okay, look. It's no longer attached. Okay, did did you and your buddy and I just think of like picking it up and moving it over to the sidewalk? Did why'd you just leave it there? Yeah. So people could you know drive through. I mean, there wouldn't be a stop sign there anymore, so it'd be kind of dangerous. But you know, I'm imagining there's like what eighty maybe 90 people who live in Kilbride. Uh, so who cares? I mean, it's just a bus stop sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, don't hate on the town for their serious decline after Harry Potter moved out. Yeah. Do, do you notice the giant disabled parking sign? Do you notice that? Don't, don't oh, park God. here. This is for the disabled. The disabled? Yes. The disabled. Yes. <laughs> cool. did you guys did you guys know what cnn is doing after jeff sucker their old their old guy got fired or well he resigned technically but it's because he was on the edge of being no, let go by, by time warner yeah he was fired he was dc fired as we say meaning i'll accept your resignation it's 
because we could fire okay, you, but that'd be doing? bad for us and bad for you. But we're definitely willing to do it. Don't play brinksmanship with us. I'll have your resignation in the morning or by close of business, depending on how hard they want to be. Yeah, that's are, what are happened to Van reading? Jones, their race expert on CNN. He was DC fired from the White House after being there for only 18 months. He was there for a year and a half as their green energy expert at the Obama, under the Obama administration. Now, how do you get fired, DC fired, meaning I'll accept your resignation, in a year and a half? What did you do? Well, he went on social media and wrote a bunch of racist shit. So what did they do? Well, CNN oh. snatched him right up and put him on there as their race expert. What's his expertise in race? Well, he's black. Oh. Oh, I thought you were going to say they read small town news because they didn't have any guidance on how to hate Trump anymore. Well, <laughs> 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 but, but CNN has a plan going ahead. They got a plan going ahead. They brought in a new guy. He's got plans. They're going to dull their liberal edge. This is the guy right here. Are they now? Yep. This is this is the man they brought in to replace. His name is Chris Lit Litched or Lit Light. I think it might just be pronounced Light. L-I-C-H-T. That That is correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He used to be the <laughs> showrunner for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Okay, this is the guy who's going to run your news network. So, w what is his plan? Um, <laughs> ratings are secondary to okay. credibility. In the view of Warner Brothers, Discovery CEO Davis, who's taking over CNN. Okay, his his successor uh, at the CNN will be Licked or Light. I'm assuming Light. Okay. Uh <laughs> What's happening? He's urging <clears throat> CNN a likely pushback to hard news and away from red-hot liberal opining. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, okay. It's, okay. It's like, you mean be a news network is what you're saying. Is, is, that, yeah. is that your plan for the future for the cable news network to be a news network well that's a hell of a thought i don't know where you came up with that crazy shit I... I just can't get over his cheekbones he has woman's cheekbones are you sure that's a man the guy on the left that's a well i don't know if he was born a man but it's his... i mean that weak chin and those high cheekbones that's not a weak chin that's a pointy chin are we looking at the same picture the one on the right? Not the gay man on the right. The 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 the, the fattish balding man on the left. That's only because his co that's only because his shirt collar is too tight and pinching the neck fat to make it look pointy. Oh, is that what's happening? I mean, Sinatra. Yeah. This is this is a story for you, brother. This is just it's like Zalav, who's you know the Warner Brothers CEO, who's going to name who's the new head of CNN and has he, he wants uh, CNN to move back to the middle but they always were they said they were reporting just the news in an objective fashion never mind that don lemon constantly talked about like you know the need to tell his truth as a gay black man in america that's that's being of the middle quote hard news that's not far left opining at all <laughs> well well we need to maintain some integrity on here a gay sexual assaulter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on on the news Mm -hmm. Smell uh, my. He's a, smell my. Smell my junk cheese. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's also another. Oh, we don't want to list all the fucking sex pests at CNN. We'll be here all night long. Let's just. Uh, just. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'd be. Wouldn't it be easy to list who isn't? Yeah. It, it, in a lot of ways, it would be. I just. I, I, normally, we wouldn't do like news stuff. This is more like AAA stuff. But I, I couldn't get over reading this, where it's like you brought in the late. The showrunner. Oh. Whoa. It's not you have twisted my arm. Hello. Hello. You have twisted voice Hello. settings. Hello. Hello. I told you my phone sounded like shit. Well, and I believe you now. Yeah. Did you think I was lying? Now I'm here, motherfucker. <laughs> driving home drunk, <laughs> are you? I... No, not drunk. Driving. Oh. So Very tired, things. though. things. Good. I hung out with my buddy. We played Elden Ring on his fucking PlayStation 5 for like six hours. Nice. 
Yeah, man, it was a good time. I don't really get to go out anymore, so when I get the chance, I like to go hang out with hetero life. I don't. I don't have a hetero life mate. I have friends. I'm not even sure what hetero life mate means. I've been friends with this dude since I was like 12. Oh. Okay, well, I've got friends like that. Is that what a hetero life mate is? It, it's a it's my non-gay way of saying best friend. Gotcha. It's a bromance. Yeah, it's my bromance. Yeah, no, I get it. Because when you're on the internet, you can't say, oh, so I called my best friend the other day. Because we're like, that's gay. You've got friends? It's like, that's, that's the thing is him and I do that. Like, if we're talking on the phone, it takes a minute and a half before we're like slippered foot up in the air Doris Day gossiping to each other about shit <laughs> laying on and, your belly this is not gay. twisting your feet doing each other's hair with sleepovers and yeah I get you I get you this this is what I was telling you I send the guy to to go hang out with his bromance even Shelly's like are you going to hang out with your boyfriend tonight I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> Women are incorrigible. Holy fuck. They're they're the gossipers and they want to just paint everyone else's it. It's just terrible. They're the worst. No. No, it no. It doesn't cross lines until you actually think they're gay. Until then, you send them things like uh, the song Gay Bar. Yeah. Bar, do you know Outlaw? Nar? I thought all you Aussies get together. Nar. Hey, you gotta give me something more than nar. Hey. Well, nar, right. it, I don't know every single Australian. I'm, I'm sorry, Sinatra. I, th I think every single Australian is on YouTube and Twitch or something like that. I, I don't think Kate Blanchett's on either. Kate Blanchett's Australian? Yep. I didn't know that. Not anymore. Wait, she got citizenship somewhere else? I assume she's a citizen in America. Well, let's find out. Wait, Kate Blanchett, was she the one who played... Hela? She played... He yeah. Yeah, she played Hella. Yeah. She's Australian? Yep. Wow. She's older, but she yeah. can still. Oh yeah, she could get it. She she could get oh, it. Oh god. Yeah. Especially in that tight little fucking latex outfit. Mm. She, had she two was born kids in Melbourne. Yeah, and she has citizenship she... in the United States. Because, Told you. Yeah. I had no idea. I just guessed. She holy shit. She's married to Andrew Upton from ninety seven. She has four kids in that skin tight outfit. Damn. But see, the issue with that is you take it off and it's like. She was in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh, yeah, wait, she wait, was, was the she Soviet. The, was she the psychic was... N N Nazi lady? Yeah, she was the Soviet. Oh, that's the, yeah, not Nazi Soviet. She was the psychic Soviet lady. No shit. Well, I didn't pay that's... very close attention to that movie for all the obvious reasons. That movie was fucking terrible. Yes. You want to hear of another one that's mind blowing? Rachel Wise from The Mummy and who played uh, Scarlett Johansson's mom in Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. She, she's married to Daniel Craig. Where do I know I Rachel think... Wise from? I know her from something that I looked. The at. Mummy. No, not the Mummy. Was she the? Oh no, uh... I, I know her from um um what you call it, uh, Born Legacy with Jeremy Renner. That's where I know her from. Yeah, okay. she's... I can't look it up on my phone because I'm driving, but I, I can't. That is. Oh my God, she has so citizenship nice. in the United Kingdom and the United States because, of course, she's she's very Jewish. Sinatra, don't bother looking her up. Her other name That's is a... Rachel <laughs> Weiss Craig. You're right. She's Molly, did you... Ben Shapiro's sisters. It's. <laughs> Oh my god. I love how you, you hesitated there for a second. Ben Shapiro's sisters fits. Well yeah, I but okay, I, I have gone I've gotten severely confused over this. 
here is this cam girl named, you know, Shoshana Shapiro or whatever the fuck her first name is, right? Au revoir, Shoshana. Yeah, whatever her first name is, right? And this is Ben Shapiro's sister. And it's like, no, that's an accident. She just happens to have the same name as Ben Shapiro's sister. This is not actually Ben Shapiro's sister. Looks like Ben. Are, what are you trying to say? All Jews look alike? No, Ben and sister look alike. Uh-huh. 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 You sure you're not also, driving drunk? I, I am positive. <laughs> Yeah, now I actually am remembering uh, her from The Mummy vaguely, because I don't remember The Mummy very well because it was a terrible film. Sorry for anyone who liked it. I'm just saying. It wasn't mine. Which one? The Brendan Fraser or the Tom Cruise? Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. It's the only one I've seen, and I, I don't remember it at all because it was highly forgettable. Who was she in that? She was the chick with the curly hair who ends up hooking up with him. The blonde curly hair? Yeah. Blondish. The main girl in the movie. The main girl is the one Imhotep brought back to life. No, not yeah, that one. I'm coming up on a red light. I'm going to pull it up here. Well, in the meantime, we're going to continue on with our show because we're actually doing a show, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, thousands of Nike shoes stolen in the Great Trainer robbery. <laughs> okay. See the joke they did there? Great train robbery, great train Yeah, I, I oh, okay. see the joke. Okay. Around 4,000 pairs of Nike trainers uh, worth 400,000 pounds have been stolen from a lorry at a service station in South Lancashire. Lan Lanarkshire. Drunkle's not here to complain. I'll say it however the fuck I want. The footwear was taken from a parked vehicle at Abington Services Interchange. Whatever the fuck. Four fucking thousand pairs. That's... Damn. What are you going to do with 4,000 pairs of shoes? Sell them on eBay. There's an, en there's an entire trading market for those. They have multiple sites where you can trade sneakers that are limited runs. Absolutely. And they're, that's why I don't wear Nike. I wear Adidas because, yeah, and a few other things like DCs and Etnies. And I wear some different skater shoes. Like if we're talking about like quote unquote trainers. Yeah, but. I, I can't do the Nike I'm, thing because it's like, you don't want this $7,000 pair of Air Jordan limited edition space boots? No, I don't. Like, at all. Even a little. They're ugly as fuck. No. What is a trainer? It's a sneaker. Is that the, like, ankle high ones? No. No, it's, no. Just no. And any old sneaker. It's Welsh. They, they, they just call them trainers because they're weirdo Brits. I've yeah, never... it's a Welsh thing. I've never heard them called trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. I, I mean, who's ever heard of it? What, 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 what do they call zucchinis? Aberbaijans? What are they called? But Aubergines. Aubergines. Aubergines? Yeah. Aubergines? Azerbaijans is a, a, a country, isn't it? God, I'm drunk. Literally, the reason I know Aubergine is because I play too much pummel party. <laughs> they got bad names for everything. I just... Oh. See, I wear... I wear like the Under Armors. Sure. Because you of how wear light they are. Sure. Huh? Huh? It, it, every show on, smooths out voice. when Sinatra comes on. It's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, motherfucker? I'm like peanut butter in this. Just, <laughs> uh, Just a is... little chunky. I'm going to move hey. on to... Uh, oh, look at this. I love this. <laughs> Burglar claimed he was sleepwalking. Now, listen. Sure. Sure you were. As someone who sleepwalks, I've never made it outside yet. I've, I've started... Yes. I've started to make food, never completed making it, etc. But I've never sleptwalk a robbery. An accused oh. auto burglar okay. told Louisiana cops he was sleepwalking when he entered a parked pickup late Wednesday evening. He's a man, by the way, Sinatra, in case you can't see. Responding to a call about a, oh my God, lowercase b black male. Jesus, you racists. Pulling on car door handles in the parking lot of a Monroe parking lot complex. Uh, Christopher Samuel, 22. He's just walking around looking to see. Uh, a witness told officers he observed Samuel trying to enter multiple vehicles before he got into a 94 Chevrolet truck. 
Uh, when cops confronted Samuels, seen at right, he purportedly ad uh, admitted entering the pickup, but said he did so because he was sleepwalking. Yeah, he got the charge anyway. Felony burglary. Weren't we just talking about this, Holly? No, I don't think so. You, and, I, I'm pretty sure you and I were just talking about you sleepwalking. Oh, talking about me sleepwalking? Yeah. I mean, we were just talking about it like 30, 35 seconds ago. No, before the oh. conversation. Uh, yes, but I don't believe it was in connection to a man robbery. No, we're talking about it, but that conversation reminded me of an old Joe Rogan clip where he, I think it was people on, what, it's called Ambient or something like that. And he said people will be on that, and then they'll just wake up and do stuff. Like, they'll be cooking a, a meal, they'll be walking their dog. And they'll wake up in the middle of the action. I, I have never woken up mid sleepwalk. I just wake up to see that. Far has heard me say this. Apparently somebody broke into my house last night and made my kitchen into disarray and started doing laundry, yep. but then stopped and left. Uh, and then locked the doors somehow after they left from the outside. Because <laughs> so, it was yeah, obviously me is the joke. Because yeah. I have no memory of doing it. You, far, remember two times I fell out of bed? Remember with the, the one where I was wedged between my nightstand and my bed? I, yeah. I, and I woke up only because I had struck the ground and couldn't move because both my arms were pinned to my side because I was wedged down yeah. there. It was terrible. I have horrible sleeping disorders, guys. Just tonight, I fell asleep in a chair in an awkward position, and that's why Noir Bar started like an hour and a half late because I was asleep twisted up like a fucking cat. But I don't have their flexibility, so I'm in my neck is killing me oh dude i hate chairs oh my god it's the worst be see ready. you just you just explained what this guy did he has stolen so many cars and broken mm. into them that now he just does it in his sleep when he's sleepwalking I it's know. his day to day yeah it's, <laughs> it's just sort of force a habit for this guy at this point when yeah. you sleepwalk and do all that shit do you, like put yourself back into bed yeah, I just wake I wake up in bed, like, when my alarm goes off, and then go into my kitchen, and I'm like, oh, look at all this. What the fuck? Why is that jar of peanut butter open? Why are those crackers out? What? Oh, no, I hope that cheese didn't dry out. I took out the whole block of cheese and just left it there. Because apparently I was trying to make, like, cheese and crackers or whatever the fuck I was doing. And... Peanut butter. And, and well, peanut butter's good on crackers and... Melty peanut butter on toast is delicious, Far. Uh, toasted peanut butter and jelly is chef's kiss. Yeah, good. absolutely. Yeah, but the cheese. What? Who doesn't like cheese? On the peanut butter. Well, I wasn't going to put them together, I don't think. I don't know. You're, you're sure? Well, I don't know. You're I wasn't sure? really. I wasn't, it was all out together. I wasn't from the sounds consciously of it. cognizant at the time, okay? Fuck. Uh huh. Well. That's, his brain said you want a snacky snack. His brain also said you're not going to wake up for snacky snack. I want a snacky snack. I'm fucking hungry. I, I ruined a set of bed sheets that way. I went and got a bag of chips and I opened oh, it up and I woke up and the chips were like everywhere in the bed. I Apparently I brought them back to bed with me. <laughs> and so <laughs> thus little oil stains were all over the, 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 the bedspread. And I tried washing them and even like spot spraying them and stuff. And no, chip grease will not come off of linen. I found no. out. So like that sheet was pretty much ruined because it's like I'm not gonna have a, a spotty sheet, even though I know it's clean. It's still. What happens if I have you a lady friend over? You don't want a woman. I mean, Valine, you walk into a guy's bedroom and he's got a stained sheet. I mean, come on, you know. We use my sheets now. Are you saying they're stained? No. Oh. I think she's. Is work. I'm pretty sure that it's no, actually, that what you no, took actually, away from he had, just... no, he he had really really nice ones, but I ended up having these higher thread count ones that work better when there's two of us in the bed. Zimoli okay. says melted Swiss and ham on toast for me. Yeah, see, I'd go for that, but that would require like you know actually being conscious enough to make it well. But you guys and all of you. 
That shit's a game. Cynic says he yells and punches his wall in his sleep. How that do you? Just sounds like. Okay. Is your name Kyle? <laughs> 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 Ollie. Moving along, Altoona truck thief forced to call nine one one on himself. Why? Because the guy he was robbing made him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That is big. Now tell your parents what you did, guys. Yeah. Altoona police said that right? Jess, Jason Almeida, 25, tried to steal a Nissan hardbody pickup truck at a car wash located at this place, but was restrained by the victim. Police said the victim heard the car start and ran to the passenger door and pulled Almeida out before restraining him and forcing him to call 911 on himself. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I, I don't... I don't know if any of you have been to Altoona, but it is a little mountain town. <laughs> I've I've driven that through makes it so driving much through PA, sense. but never actually stopped at Altoona. But I've seen the sides that I was driving through Altoona. <laughs> it is so small, and it makes so much sense that it happened there. Really, like this? This is typical of Altoona that some dude bro would be like, "All right," but just like Sid said, "Now call them and tell them what you did." You know. <laughs> Well, their yeah. crime rate, their crime rate, it, I mean, being that small of a town, any crime, like, once it happens, you don't want it to continue. So, like, everybody knows everybody. They're such a small, it is, it's not the smallest town in the area, but it, it's small enough that they're like, yeah, we're not going to be Pittsburgh. We're not going to be Philadelphia. We're not right. going to be Baltimore. Sure. <laughs> and Pennsylvania allows concealed carry, so. Yeah. <laughs> right and uh far just posted both of our stream labs in chat so feel free to uh, jo donate generously because you know or yeah sinatra you were mm -hmm. you here earlier to hear what the what, what my state did to me for taxes no i guess not all right moving on I was hoping he said he'll be right back no, i was hoping to be able to complain about it again <laughs> i sent i sent him the picture of what mine were he was like, holy shit. You guys want one? Why would they make this? <laughs> it's I mean, currently unavailable, but it is available for back orders. My dog looked Why adorable dressed up as Baby Yoda, but he's a Boston, so he's got the big ears. Why, why would you want to give your dog tits? Why would you want... Did, far, did your mind go where my mind went with this? I... I mean, we've heard the things, right? Carol Wolf and whatnot. Like, you know? It, oh, no. No. <laughs> my mind did not go there, but no. Ah. <laughs> oh. You don't want to buy this? This is a, yeah, this is terrible. No. It's a white dress with cleavage. 100% polyester exclusive of decoration. Oh, this is perfectly right. Originally written in English, I'm sure. Polyester exclusive of decoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I... What else? What else? That is perfect English. Random crap? Don't you want a bag that says random crap from here and there? <laughs> I actually do want that I mean, pouch. I mean, now. I would. <laughs> I, I want that pouch. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I gotta go to Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally have a rent and crap bag. Let's see it. Let's I mean, see I have one. I have one that's ghastly in the Mal stuff. <laughs> but. <laughs> Pretty sure I could use this for work. So oh, there it, you go. It, it has a uh, uh, features chunky color coordinated zipper. That uh -huh. is a chunky color coordinated zipper. They didn't lie. It, it's, it's That's funny. unusual. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> No. 
come in a variety of colors. Fuck, whatever. 30 weird gifts you could actually buy on Amazon. You ready? Let's start with you. Right. Let's start with unicorn meat. Okay, there's unicorn meat. Yeah. There's nothing weird about that. Mm hmm, but we've seen it before. Well, I've seen it anyway. Well, okay. The, 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 I... the toilet putter? Yeah. Still well, as far ever... as ever. Have you ever been to Think Geek? Do you remember when that was an active site? Think Geek. Okay, toilet fishing is new. Yeah, the first two were on Think Geek. The first two what? Uh, the on unicorn list. meat. Oh. The unicorn meat and the uh, the poo putt. Uh -huh. That. Yeah. And I, I'm glad that's still being sold, though. Uh, Molly Okami says she needs a change purse that's shaped like a scrotum. Okay, since... Uh, that. Since Far has already seen all these, have you seen one of those? Yep. Oh. They sell them on Wish. Oh, For bikes? I know I've seen them for, for shoes, but never for bikes. Yeah. Did, did, did they glow in the dark? Yeah, the bikes are so frequent that it's just kind of like, it's not even worth putting them up. Oh. Like, it's like the crack pipes. Yeah, well, they're you know, like they're after, not like, crack the first pipes. Few, the they're only meth time, pipes, no, the only time. Oh, okay. Well, the meth pipes. I'm sorry, <laughs> but the only time like I would even suggest putting the meth pipes up on a Wish.com game or anything like that is if the name is weird. Mm. It, it's that. the same for these things. Right. You did that like, with tobacco this... pipes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like if they're saying it's like a tobacco pipe, blah blah blah, you know what it's used for. Like as in the the words, you know what it's used for are in the actual fucking title. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be selected. You know, I've never seen these before, and I never clued into the idea. Yeah, cookies and cream Oreos, so they're Oreo flavored Oreos. Oh, yeah. why? It just didn't even occur to me that yeah, if you put chocolate in the cream you well you just kind of doubled up didn't you it, it, yeah it's doubling down on making america fat <laughs> well done like don't know, you're... Yeah. now this is something i could actually use in my life hi uh, yeah just you ever wanted to like hit the empty key so hard you 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 could punch a wall yes there you go this is the product for you I, I want that off to the side where like I'm I'm typing in something like to and, well you know Gamer Valine for example when she's saying something in AAA I don't agree with and I can type it on I can go motherfucking enter boom to send it yeah absolutely you just got it sitting off to the side you know it's plugged into your USB it's great <laughs> I would never fuck with you during AAA I don't know what you're talking about bitch. The, the spinal tape everyone was impressed with. I didn't think you guys would care, so I just kind of rolled over it. It's spinal a, tape? Spinal tape, see? I think it looks cool. It's a, it's spinal tape. It's a joke off of <laughs> this is spinal tap. Or... Oh. I still think it looks cool. <laughs> I thought you hated bones. This is a long tape of just bones. I do? No, I hate real bones. Oh. If it's something like bones. this, where it's obviously like a diagram, I... it's not a real bone. It's a diagram-looking picture. Like this is drawn. It There's is... a difference. All right, all right, all right. You're a diagram, and it's not broken either. Like that's the thing. Like, it's usually like if it's obviously like one. If it's a real bone, I don't want to see it. But if it's a drawn like bone, if it's broken, I also don't want to see it. If it's just intact, I don't care. I, I really actually think this is I could use this. I would have this on my desk. I I get How much is it? what? How much is it? I don't know. The worst things for sale? It doesn't even list it. I should look it up. Um USB come. Oh, Did you want a stripper sloth shirt cow, or shower curtain? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't have it in a shower curtain, but I would have that as like a print somewhere. Just somewhere. 
Oh my oh god, my god yes. It's, you like the dollars it's falling? Not as a shower curtain, though. I have no use for a shower curtain. I, I, I have an alert when I'm on streams that goes along with this. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy, I found it. Did you? I think I found it. What? Take your bets. On what the price is. Oh, man. Uh, thirty nine ninety five. I don't want to... What are we guessing the price of? The giant, the giant punchable enter key. Enter key. That you can just fucking punch. Sixty nine ninety five. I said $39.95. Okay, you have $39.95, okay, $69.95. Six, $69.69. It's $14.99. Oh, <laughs> damn it. I don't know. I, 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 I get pretty angry. I, I might break the little button that's inside of all the padding. It's possible, you know. Well, it says unbreakable. In the title, it says unbreakable. That sounds like a challenge, not a description. <laughs> right? Right. I'll either break the button or my desk, especially with what I was doing earlier. Yeah, there it is, fourteen ninety nine, and uh, Valinks Interpillar yeah. USB unbreakable. You weren't lying. Yeah, look at that. What is that? That's frequently bought together. What is that? Oh, oh. it's the oh. the wacky Wacky flailing inflatable yeah. flailing tube arm man. Thing. Look, it's got its own little fan. That's great. He's a little mini. Yeah. I would solve yeah. so many people that work with him. See, this is why Far thinks that I'm 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 very likely uh, uh, ADHD, and I'm not. I just don't like distracting sure. things. I'm positive because I couldn't have this thing on my desk because it would be flailing there. Like, okay, like, so I got a, a ceiling fan in the computer room, the room I'm in right now, right? And I, I've also got like a bookshelf and a desk over on the far side where I do a bunch of work and research and shit. Anyway, if there's a page that's on the edge of the desk and that desk is always full of different papers and whatnot, it, it, it's fluttering because of the ceiling fan. I have to get up and go move it or put something on top of it because I can't stand something in the corner of my eye constantly moving. And far because of this is your ADHD, Polly. Not, not just that. There's a bunch of other shit, too. Come on, man. Okay, okay. I, I get... Fair enough. I told her another story. I cannot sit and, like, okay, campus I'm at, right? All of the buildings, well, a whole fuck ton of the buildings anyway, have chairs and... uh uh not couches, but like uh, park benches, that kind of thing, inside along the hallways of the main floors. So the idea is you can sit there and read or sit there and talk to your friends or whatever. I've tried sitting there and reading and the people walking back and forth, like while I'm looking at the page and they're walking back and forth in my vision, like out of focus, I can't focus on what I'm reading because there's all this motion going on around me. And this is another thing. Are you sure you're not ADHD, Polly? It's not even just that. There's like a whole series of shit that some some of it I've even forgotten. But it's like I like to be focused. A whole far, it's not of a problem. Shit where it's like, are you sure? I have asked you to send me dexamphetamine in the mail to try and see, and I you mean, said I'm not no. Sending you? No, I'm not sending you my medication <laughs> through the mail. What I the won't fuck? share my helpful medication with you, even though I think it would help you. Okay, fine. See, this I, is how it no, is. This is nice. It's not going to go through. <laughs> it's going well, to be caught up in fucking customs. You, to scrape the side off of it and say this headache medication will help you. It'll be fine. What is what? What does it say on the side? It's going to be suspicious pills. Do you know how many it has pills my get? Name. Okay, hold on. The Let's... Sound is, it has my name on the label, which, okay, yeah, I could tear that off. Sure you could. And then it has, like, the fucking, like, actual medical shit. I'm, no. Just look up pills in the mail. See what comes up. Wow, people send pills in the mail all the time. Ghetto whispers. <laughs> Abortion pills. <laughs> Ghetto whispers with Rosenthal <laughs> Mutaki. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Just go. <laughs> okay, okay. What's up with ghetto whispers? I, I don't know. I just tweeted it out. That's just, are we are we just... about to learn about ghetto whispers? 
It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. No context. There we go. All right. Okay. What were we doing? No, come on. I want <laughs> ghetto whispers. What's up with ghetto whispers? I want to know. Let's shun drugs. The Sunday mail. Ghetto whispers. Unperturbed I, I by flies that hovered around him, James reached for a small bottle that was in his pocket of his torn jacket, drank the contents, grimaced, and resigned to sleep like an octopus with his feet astride. He has eight feet. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> I... You, you read something. I don't think, I think it was English. I sleep. I really don't think they do. In about five minutes' really time, sleep? he started tossing and turning as he sought the perfect position to sleep. Acquiescences called him Professor. Acquaintances, acquiescences. Acquaintances called him Professor, while others dismissed him for a mad young man with misplaced priorities. Quote, he's very good at mathematics. In fact, he was a mathematics till mathematics teacher children flock to his shack with assignments but the mo why is he teaching in a shack wait did they just race swap the english patient I but the moment he is paid <laughs> the dollar he demands for his services he goes to buy the highly potent moomba 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 bahia boobahua i can't highlight it it won't let me because i really want to search that word Masabahayumbaba said a cobbler who was mending shoes nearby. <laughs> okay. Lucian Yeah. Where, where'd the cobbler come from? Quote, God's gift is being wasted in that young man. He has a sharp intellect, social skills, but he will never stop taking drugs, added a food vendor who claimed she often gave James leftovers. Apart from these two, school children in the area confessed that James was a good teacher, whose only challenge was his bad drinking habits. Blazo Velatramuma Muvo Avo, but Kudro Kavada Niko Kamada Manji, said one boy who was Are you summoning a dark spirit or something? <laughs> said one boy who was resplendent in a Churchill boy's high school uniform. Resplendent. One boy. Yeah, resplendent. <laughs> okay, now I'm home. Now I can catch up with you guys. I heard that. <laughs> we all heard that. Mm. Resplendent. The drugs Holly, issue is, is giving us sleepless nights. I sent my child to school with little money I had earned from the industries, thinking he would live a better life. Now. He is always drunk and accused of all sorts of crimes. <laughs> crimes. Resplendent crimes. Yes. <laughs> I don't fucking know. What the fuck? So not I figured the this? ultimate way to end sentences. It's like I see your windmills, cocksucker. Okay. The 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 I see your windmills, cocksucker statement of this stream is said the cobbler mending shoes nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Said the man working over there. <laughs> I, I I don't know. This is what Cobbler. Ghetto Splendid. Whispers with Rosenthal Mutaki is what led us here. Yeah, this totally sounds like Whispers from the Ghetto. Absolutely. In the Ghetto. So if you're pregnant and you don't want to be, you call them and they mail you drugs. No, they mail you a shop vac and a wire hanger. Oh my god. <laughs> they mail you drugs, I'm like, oh Connor. my god. I am not mailing anyone drugs. We are ending this entire discussion right now because of that statement alone. <laughs> Lord in heaven have mercy on our souls. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Where were we? Oh yeah, random crap. Oh no, we I'm moved talking on. about yeah. your autism. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we just, <laughs> this, get one of these for your boyfriend. You'll love it, okay? Just get one of these. Uh no, I don't want him to look like a Greek guy. Hey man. No, this is for you, not him. You're you Italian. Shut the hell up. Oh, I get it. You're saying all Greek men are gay. I understand. 
Very nice. A great success. A screwdriver for girls. It's... Do you want to order this? I. Sin, is this for I you? Hate... No, not for you personally, but for Shelly, I mean. But the, but the other yes. part of me is just like, this is stupid. You ordered I the squirrel this. thing. I, I did. It's did great. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the squirrel thing. That squirrel thing, thing is amazing. Do you remember the squirrel thing, Far? Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. I was about to look it up God. again. Okay, if you, yeah, Sinatra actually ordered that. I know. <laughs> we don't need. We don't need to give the women. That <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> hold on. We're, we're Wings just... of desire. That's fantastic. <laughs> that is fucking fantastic. Going ahead here. Uh, just... <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. a busy night for Polly on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's... hold on. No, no, no. People can see that it's from. No, it has to be without context. Where is the. Uh... Where was I? Holy shit, I got a lot of tabs open here. Holy fuck, man. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Didn't do screen grab. New. No. Oh my god, what is that first thing? I don't even remember. I've been drinking for some Birds time. Birds Nest Jello? What's that? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was traumatizing me. <laughs> oh, the bird's nest. You didn't even try it, Valine. Shut the fuck up. There. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. So how do I get... Okay, get rid of that, 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 and then V. Wings of Desire. There we go. Tweet. Sinatra, I've actually been to Asia. I'm good on trying, like, mysterious beverages from there. It's why I was a drunk the whole deployment. Why are there nine uh, comments under that original thing? What what are people commenting? <laughs> it was head cheese. That looks like it was once food. <laughs> <laughs> Platty wisely just says no. Yes, I agree, Platty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jacob is just stop. Okay, hold on. Who hurt you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Who hurt you? Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa <laughs> did. What, 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 no, hold on. Jason Momoa is splitting up with uh, Lisa his Bonet. Wife. Dumped him. I, <laughs> hold on. I, already, I have a chance. I've already <laughs> slid into her DMs. Dems. Oh my god. You and Lenny I Kravitz. Knew I knew. <laughs> Just to wait for my stra oops. I'm drunk and trying to type with one hand. It's not working well. Strategic op or maybe. Smiley face. Yay. I'm reporting you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> parents we finally figured out what the I'm... mystery soup is all the way at the bottom what do you mean that's the guy who always says mystery soup in the chat on triple a oh sergio gospel yeah yeah but yeah he is the mystery soup guy you're right oh there's more replies are they full of cusses and stuff it looks like the fat from a roast left in the fridge overnight oh yeah why it, but, <laughs> molly yeah well it does but I mean, Probably it was except my intentional. <laughs> oh, God. It was that was intentional. It was I know <laughs> that's the horrific part. I intended it that to be made like that. Who were you, Polly? <laughs> Show us on the dolly you where they hear you. See, I no, do you know how little I is. You like, need to ask that to the person who made that. Far says like, "Oh, it's a busy night for Polly on Twitter." Okay, you're not wrong, uh, but the the issue at hand here is I, I'm so unbusy. I I can't figure out how to de-Christmasize myself. I still got the Christmas otter with the Christmas trees and the snowflakes. I forget where to go to fix that. So whatever. Y you know you're. Your tweets are not showing up for me because I, the Vosh people are still yelling at me. <laughs> Wings of desire. That's great. Black <laughs> toilet paper for your goth slut. Shit. Uh, yes. <laughs> Why? 
It matches my Again, hair. Why? <laughs> For your goth <laughs> slut. What it says right it's there. Goth shit. <laughs> oh my god! Are you just gonna ignore that? Uh, yes. th this is not for your phone. Everybody knows that that's a clit tickler. But exactly what that is. There's a whole song about it. Finger bang. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's so obvious what it is. I just, come on. Finger stylus. Yeah, yeah, we're all stupid. Okay, what is the point of a finger stylus if your finger works with the thing? Yeah. It's supposed to keep it clean? It's for clean? somebody with sausage fingers. It's for somebody with sausage fingers like you. Don't say that to Far. She's a lovely woman. No, I meant you, Sinatra. I've seen I've, fingers. I've seen your hands around your phone. You've seen my hands around you anyway. <laughs> my dick. <sighs> Make yummy filled <laughs> bananas. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh, so that's when cre creepers on the internet get innovative. <laughs> I... Core, Phil, What do you even enjoy. say to this? What do you even say to this? Nothing. We move on it's and like pretend it's like the George writes itself. Somebody, somebody said in the comment under that plot twist, it's not chocolate. Oh my oh. god, I need this. My car won't stop dinging. I have looked up. How? Oh, I need <sighs> this. I don't care about the bottle opener. Gives a fuck. I just want that binging to stop you. Well, let's put your seatbelt on. No, you don't understand. When I you stop put your seatbelt on, God damn it. <laughs> when I stop and put it in park and take my seatbelt off just to chill out for a minute and I want the AC to keep running or the heat to keep running, whatever the situation may be, the fucking thing starts dinging at me. Goddamn Japanese car. I... Oh, well, see, that's your problem. It's not a superior German car. We've heard enough about you in the master race for one night, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I need to do is our bizarre mox fry. <laughs> I, I, I need to do what this guy did and prowl some cars until I find one with an open door, and then cut off the seatbelt attachment, and then just plug it permanently in. Why don't I just send you the parts site spare seatbelt? But if I steal it, it's free. Or go to a junkyard that and get it for like a dollar. Go to a junkyard <laughs> and get it for a dollar. Yeah, no kidding. We'll they they actually do junkyard. sell by weight at one uh, parts yard that I've been to. Literally sell by weight. Except for except yeah. except for certain items that they list off that are worth more than their weight, like catalytic converters, for example. Why would they have so many catalytic converters? Well, catalytic converters have platinum plating in them, and people want the platinum to because it's platinum. Polly, I was a mechanic. I know that. Oh, okay. Well, Polly, how did you not know I did this thing that you couldn't have known I've done? Yeah. Melanie's Marvelous Measles. Oh, huh. wonderful. I'm happy for Melanie. Hey, <laughs> is that just... Is that just a... A picture that they've traced Why? over to doesn't make it, it look, look like, like a photograph that they've just placed over her face yes. like they, 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 yes i yeah i was thinking the same thing it's, it's that terrible so incredibly wiki how us oh dude what? i have a list of wiki how for you guys oh my god pimple popping simulator you can refill and squeeze no. again and again no no Fuck no, off. no 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 yeah, let's just move on. That is disgusting. The Bible boys just for Bible? boys. Luke 2, 52. And no Jesus girls allowed in this Bible. Favor with God. I don't, I don't understand. So it's like just the regular Bible, but it's got like the diamond plating on top? I don't understand. Hey, the metal plating. Yeah. But, but uh, that's called diamond yeah, plating. I Sinatra, back me up here. You own a is truck. It? I do. And is that plating not okay. called diamond plating? It is. So, okay, well, I did not know that. It doesn't mean it's got actual diamonds so far. They don't. That's kind of extravagant. Okay. Right. It's, it's called faux diamond. Fox diamond. 
actually is how you say that. Really? <laughs> just like Home Depot. <laughs> also something I would put up in my office. <laughs> it's a pillowcase. Just have that casually sitting on the on the couch. Sinatra, did you see the Sorry. sloth stripper? Or an answer any questions shower about curtain? I did not. You want to see it? It's pretty cool. Yes. Valine wants one, so you know what to get her for Christmas or her next birthday. Uh, there it is. The sloth stripper. Sharker. Oh, I want that. I want that. <laughs> so what you want to do is buy this, put it up, and then Shelly goes into shower the next morning, and it's like... <laughs> I'm, I'm actually texting that to the boyfriend right now while he's at work so, with no context. <laughs> Oh, that's just, this is just awful. So that is awful. terrible. Yeah, I just, uh, oh. um, choke me dead. Uh, fail. Never again. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, okay. Fried chicken phone case. Fried chicken, oh my God. That, is that like a fake piece of fried chicken? Yes, it, it it's a looks, fake piece of well, fried I chicken. I mean, it says it right there. Yeah. The fried no, chicken phone like, case is a piece of a piece of fake chicken glued. Okay, I didn't read case. that. I'm sorry, but just yeah. Jesus Christ, uh -huh. that looks so real. Let's hear for oh my the God, uh, Polly, public education got, system in Australia. Polly, I got something for you real quick. Oh, shut up. Would you DM it? Okay, yes, you did. Yeah. It, we just talked about it Friday. Oh, no shit. Look at that. Open link. Uh, cancel, because that's going to open in my other browser, and you guys will see all the tentacle hentai I was looking at, and nobody wants that. Hentai? Hentai, yes. Yeah, that is a way of referring to it. Governor DeWine, ironically, of Ohio, orders halt to Russian-made vodka sales. Ohio Republican governor. All the Mike. Russian standard. What? Russian standard vodka. That's what it's called. Yes. Okay. That's my go-to. Oh. How dare you? Well, make sure you buy what's left on the shelves, man, because there ain't no oh, more dude, coming I in. Bought, I bought three bottles of it during the week because I knew I had a couple videos to make, and I went through a whole one already. But your Republican governor yeah. wants you to buy DeWine. The wine can defuck himself. <laughs> Even I have to apologize for the pun. That was terrible. Okay. Do you do you want me to see if I can get it in Arizona? Oh no, I could just go to the store and get a fuck ton of it. I get it. Destroy Irony capitalism. Yeah, it's destroy capitalism through a capitalistic Wait, this... purchase. With a shirt that was made in a communist country. There's lots of irony at work yep. there. Yeah. Right? The only thing that would make this even better is if it was sold by Apple. Good call. Good call. I have the little Apple with the bite out of it icon beneath it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't kneel uh, USA Lucky's Tease Nation to born in. I, I honestly... <laughs> I would have that just because of the English alone. I, it's pretty good. It would join it's... many of my classic uh, Japanese where I have, where it's just yeah. <laughs> there we go. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that shirt. It's actually it's it's got its own thing working. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Dude, I love those shirts. <laughs> They're just it's, it's so beautifully done. Should I, I go it. spare? When I was 16, I bought an aluminum covered Bible that had a pop can top on the front and a thirsty underneath. I was young. Don't judge me. <laughs> I... I sent you another thing after this. <laughs> Collect moments, not things. Collect okay. moment things. This is a, a, a Pinterest wine mom most not something you should buy this is this is right up there with those uh live la love laugh yeah things right up there i like that they spun it in gta to eat shit die yeah 
What? Garbage pants? It's just something you wrap around your garbage bin? Damn. Why? Yeah, why? Why? <laughs> oh my god, it's so adorable. Or, or, fuck my homeowners association. Hey, sure, I guess. But I get the feeling it's supposed to be inside the house. Not outside. Oh my god. Do, do you want this? The food cubby? Yes. Because <laughs> oh. I eat like a child. That's true. I, I too don't like things touching things, but you know, you were in the military. Why don't you just get one of them trays? It's got the little sections in it, you know? Because this is easier when I'm plating my lunch at work. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because I eat like a child. <laughs> just comes right out with it. All right. I, I do. I have the taste buds of a five-year-old. Oh, I get it. It's a, it's this great. Oh. What happens if you? I mean, that's not exactly a large reservoir. I mean, when people go golfing, is they tend like, to drink a lot. Is it a one piss use? Well, I mean, is that even a full piss? This guy's got a pretty small bladder. Yeah. It, it was actually a pregnant woman. <laughs> what? I have this Vaseline, guys. Don't worry. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you have you gone down to your local like uh, pharmacy <laughs> and, and like tried the Vaseline? That it's great. Come on. I uh, I sent you something else you should bring up after this if you have time. I I did. I did. Easy boner. Nice. Easy boner. Yeah. <laughs> Easy boner. Me too. I, I I have a knife. I have a I have a fillet knife. They're, they're cheap as fuck. I I mean, but you can buy them at a dollar store for Christ's sake. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't say Easy boner on the side. It's true. That would work though when you've got chicken tenders. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's so oh stupid. Oh my god. I love it though, but it's so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna submit that as an idea at work. <laughs> that we have all of those in the uh, sterile area. <laughs> oh my god. I want to see if the engineers run with it. Like, yeah, that's a great idea. And I'm really, like, oh, that is oh, God, joke. I'll let you know the results. What kind of creepy mother would want this? So you can create, keep them forever. That's oh, that is the thing. Oh, God. I mean, yeah, mothers do keep their children's teeth for some reason. Um, plot twist. It's... That's not for moms. That's for serial killers. Uh, right. I serial killer definitely could use that, honestly. <laughs> That's like the next Dexter. He doesn't take blood slides, he takes all the I was going to say big Dexter vibes. Suicide baby pit? Yeah, it says, what makes life worth living? Better surely to yield to the stain of suicide blood in me and seek forgetfulness in the embrace of a cold, dark death. Okay, I would totally buy that and just hang it somewhere. <laughs> just frame it, put it up somewhere. Don't elaborate. Hey, if you, hey, if your baby really likes that T-shirt, I mean, protect it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe uh, you should you should watch out. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, it, well, I mean, it's it's very much like my thinking cap. I've told you about my thinking cap, right? Far. It's it's the one with the it's the squid hat. I, I keep it at campus. It's it's on a, a a hook behind me. Whenever I'm writing, I put it on. You should see the look one time when somebody like you know heard music coming from my office, and it was like three a.m. or whatever the fuck. And it's like I was working on a term paper. What do you want from me? It's like, knock 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 on the door, and I open it up. I'm like, hey. And I've got like the squid hat on with like the tentacles that hang down to your waist, and I'm like, how's it going? And he's like, what are you doing? What's up? Yeah, and it's like, it's, I totally forgot. I've been wearing it for hours and hours at that point, right? It's, you should, you should get a thinking cap. It actually uh, helps. 
Tell your cat oh, dear you're God. pregnant. Oh, and it's perfect because I just saw it. Yeah. They had a better guide for cats. But <coughs> Spectral Umbreon, he said, speaking of serial killer mothers, don't you fucking wish that on this world? There is only one of me that this world can handle. I get the idea. It's all sorts of baby noises to let your baby know that, you know, like what babies are going to be like, I guess, whatever. But anyway. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I don't see a problem. This is not the worst thing I've ever seen. This is this is okay. The hand dodger dogger converts ground beef into hot dog shaped ham. Yeah, so now you can have hamburgers and hot dog buns. What this is not a bad idea. Sinatra, back me up on this. I I, so I got distracted by America balls. Dude, Why I literally just I was just telling you about this. Point. You were? You keep saying yeah. that. Are you we having an imaginary conversations with like a dogs. little otter plushie you've got thinking it's me? Like what's going on? I, I first off I should. It'd probably be more responsive. <laughs> you want me to we were just, <laughs> you we were to, like, just talking you about hamburger dogs. We were? Where? Was I talking to G and Phil? I, dude, I swear to God, we were just talking about this. I, uh, either way, uh, it, it, did I say at the time it was a great idea? Yes, and okay. I, you're I following repeat. through with it, which is amazing. Yeah, so so you know, my I might have forgotten out of alcoholism, or you were talking to someone else out of alcoholism, thinking it was me. Uh, <laughs> either way, this is a good idea. Uh, dude, they're delicious. Gas stations have them. They do? They put them on that little roller. <laughs> The wine gun. We need to stop giving th things to women that they should not pair up. Oh, yeah. If they we need want to stop encouraging guns. alcoholism and wine mums. If I don't trust women who obsess over having to have a pink gun, because the gun is now an accessory. <laughs> it's Bad point. Yeah, electric shock bracelets. Yeah, it's uh. Why? You you know why far. You just don't want to admit it to yourself. It's fine. Uh... Jack pens. Turn your headphone jack into a ballpoint pen, so you can write with your phone, as opposed First to just typing on your phone. Headphones. Yeah, assuming that you that... you bought an Apple that doesn't have a headphone jack that, anymore, that you might be is... fucked. You yeah, I bought an LG. Is still got a headphone jack. Three point five. Two ballpoint pen. That's what you need. Yeah. A USB C to a ballpoint pen. Or a lightning thing if you're one of them Apple weirdos. No offense lightning to anyone who buys Apple, but stop buying Apple. 3.5 but... to ballpoint. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Let's go on to what Sinatra sent us. Shit. Dude, it's so stupid. Oh, you did get a reply to the uh the erotic KFC novel. Oh, did I? And apparently, there's apparently a game called I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking oh, good yeah. dating simulator on Sim. Yeah, the KFC dating sim? <laughs> on Steam. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am a Jewish, bisexual, disabled American woman with a transparent oh. Ashkenazi mama and a something immigrant god mom. Yeah, oh, Soot House? Soot. Sinatra. I, I it don't is know. Soot House, yes. What, it's Soot House, yeah. What, what is Soot House? They did a lot of Reddit stuff back in the day. Then it's not an active channel anymore. Yeah, 2018. What are you what are you doing, Sinatra? What are you what are you watching? It just popped up on my feed. What have you been watching? I mean, it's this good. is popping up on your feed. I had something here that I wanted to make fun of uh Wiccans with. What is I don't know, man. But wait, it, you had more it's about pumpkin o'clock, so I will. Uh, I'll talk to you on the morrow, good sir. All right, I will talk to you on the morrow, indeed. I guess. Let, later, guys. Later's. Good night. Bye. Wait, you had more than the environmental cult. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I try my mm -hmm. best to have something. Um, 
to make fun of Wiccans and New Age Egan fools every week on the Water Bar because Far and I find them hilarious. Do we not? Yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 witchcraft I Supply Shop in Yisipath Atlanti sells everything from sage to chicken feet. Ypsilanti? Sure. Wow, they actually have a stool. Is Ypsilanti it's... in Ann Arbor? It, it's close. Oh, okay. Ann Arbor, I, I, I certainly know. Uh, I've been to Ann Arbor. I, Ypsilanti, that's fresh for me. See, my weird place name is Schenectady. The Conjure say... Goddess Spiritual Store. The walls are purple. So they sell crystal balls. That's very nice. They sell Coca-Cola, half empty. Very nice. Little little, little wizards and whatnot. They, there's the chicken feats. No. Yep. Uh, Amethyst. $20 each. Plus tax. It says right there. Plus tax. Uh, wait, $20 each for... I don't know, maybe it's the whole bowl. This looks so small. I, I have no idea how much amethyst is it's going small. for. I Usually it's not expensive, especially if it's in small chunks. Oh. Well, this place kind of looks like a ripoff. And Ypsilani is oh, like, yeah. you know, it's an expensive place to live, so they can get away with it. The, skull candies. They're wax sculptures. Well, of course. Are they wax? Well, it tastes like they chalk. look kind of waxy. It could be wax candy. Yeah, it's it says it below. It does. Below the picture, yeah. Wax. Oh yeah, infused wax sculptures. Where are you seeing this? It's underneath mm. the picture, Polly. The text. All I see is the Conjure Goddess Spiritual Store is now open in downtown Yipsy. Oh, infused wax sculptures. Yeah, yeah okay, I see. <laughs> Shut, up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Um, oh, I've got a, ge I've got a gem, on not intended, for you. Then, um, basically, look up the entire town of Sedona, Arizona. They're all, they're like the whole town is basically into all this new age, Wiccan crystals, banishing evil spirits and cleansing and all of that, to the point that. They have the only McDonald's in the world with blue arches because it blends with the scenery there. All right. That I have to see. These are the only blue McDonald's arches in the world. I'm not taking all of your fucking. Look at that. Hey, okay. Why this Arizona McDonald's uses turquoise instead of red? Yep, it's because of all the red rocks there that have the greenery on them. Yeah. The yellow would clash. That's what they say. The town is actually very specific on their colors. Like the flags, they can come down at night and they can tell them to take down the flags. But like fixed structures on buildings have to be in a small palette of colors. And then like you look at the rest of the town and they've got all these crystal shops and there's a spring that has really good water that comes out of it, but, like, some people go there because they're like, oh, it's healing water. I have seen so many of those <laughs> New Age people filling up water there, and I'm like, dude, it just tastes good. Oh, it's, it's just good water. My radio <laughs> says, Sedona's cool, but mad gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Well, I did not know about that, Sedona. Okay. It's it, it, wicked as fuck. Yeah. Well, a lot of Arizona is like right down the street for me is like a naturopathic medicine and herb shop. That's always fun. I Yeah. McDonald's separates its golden arches to show solidarity. Okay, that's with what? Okay, right. Okay, with what? And no, separating arches would show you know, separation, not solidarity. Segregation? Yeah. 
like m moving them closer together or whatever the fuck or making the m's at the bottom like touch or something like that so it was like a infinity loop that would show solidarity separating them shows separation but what does it mean it's... solidarity over there i think funny rabbits uh, uh, social distancing. a social distancing <laughs> fuck me fuck me uh... <laughs> This better be an onion thing. In Brazil, the iconic gold arts have been pulled apart to show solidarity uh, during the cur you. Fuck. Fuck you, Brazil. Fuck you. Oh, they're separated across in, in photos. They photoshopped them apart. Okay. Well, uh, uh, okay. that's a little that's better. A little better? But, but not by much. I mean that that's Ill. like the the black power fist coming from the drumstick from KFC. It's a little it, it's yes. it's just a photo, but it's still a little fucking weird. I just want to know how they're enforcing the social distancing at like carnival when people are clamoring over each other to see the women in bikinis and headdresses. Yes. Herb infused at the conjure goddess we got some uh smells like irishman so clover and whiskey nice uh, smells like that uh, decom decomposition very nice and smells like uh the moon oh uh, shit i thought that was so like I love how they've all they've all got the all seeing eye on them. That makes them special. See? Mm hmm. I thought the one with the red skull was smells like chick on period, which yeah. you could just say smells like pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Candles, oils, and more. Craft it does nothing. I don't know. Massage oil is kind of nice. <laughs> Tarot decks and mystical cards. Yeah. I have that tower. Yep. Of course. Yeah. Ritual herbs, relics, and materials. They're selling relics. Did you steal them from a graveyard? Well, those are going to be some very cursed relics then. Wait, Desert Rose, a naturally occurring form of selenite. So, so, selenite. I've been drinking. We're gonna do here. Hey then, selenite, selenite. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. No, they actually did have the picture of it there. It was. You saw it. Where? Oh, yep, yeah. Scroll down. Right there. That's fucking weird looking. Ah. Uh. Like I, I see why fake witches picked up on this because it's funky and weird looking and it's like oh I'm going to take out my mystical balls I could just take a hit off my face too let's, <laughs> let's said, zoom oh, in on the mystic balls, balls. <laughs> that's weird like what part of the plant are they is this what happens after the flower bud dries up that it folds in like that what the hell it's weird they're probably petrifying in the desert as they dehydrate they I mean think about it think about it like plant. salt lake it's the, the great salt lake uh, petrifies a lot of things that fall into it and it, they're coated in like salt so it's rapid dehydration and petrification so maybe I don't sense. know oh, okay it's a kind of gypsum and sand particles become embedded in it and it forms a rosette like cre cons con con cre con thing funky so it's gypsum and sand that forms in this really funky cool way We can just call it mystical balls. Yeah, let's just go with mystical balls. <laughs> <laughs> it works much better. 
Because <laughs> when you said let me pull out my mystical balls, I just started choking on my vape. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> oh fuck. All right, what what else you got? Oh, they got railroad spikes. Nice. As you do. You, you never heard about spells where you need iron spikes, especially railroad no, spikes. No, I, I like I am aware of that, but like railroad spikes specifically. Because yeah, I mean, these bastards just went down and stole them from like an old railway that yeah. isn't used anymore. You know, and it's yay, used in hoodoo and other rituals. Yeah, you can toss them on a cow's tongue to take away someone's ability to speak properly and blah 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 blah. blah. So, I thought you were supposed to kill vampires with wooden stakes. No, no, these are for specific spells, <laughs> not uh, ridding ourselves of, of bloodsuckers. I like how they got little I chalkboards can't. everywhere. Oh my god, that's so precious. Yeah, they get the um, whiteboards on the wrist. Yeah, and, and just <laughs> candles. Dominate! Look, 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 look at the evil eye sending rays of evil towards the person that they're holding up into domination. And they're they controlling with the spider. Night, and the person is like on their knees begging for mercy. Very nice. Yeah. Nice. I, I don't get... These people aren't ridiculous I, fools at all. I, I, don't I, thought, I thought the evil eye was supposed to be good luck when you take it from Eastern religions. Like in the um... Greek area. Depends. It really depends. Conjure yeah, because you see that stuff. You see that all the, like the evil eye is all over like the Mediterranean area, but it's yeah. from like ancient times, and they use it to ward off evil. So, really, an altar to Santa Murete. I. You guys Santa just, Muerte? Yeah, you guys will just grab onto whatever, huh? There's liquor and food offerings. Now I understand why the Coke was there. It's, yeah. Coca-Cola. And <laughs> the, the the Mexican Coca-Cola and the Tampico. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 something Mexican, because it's just... You guys are weird. And the they, Bacardi. I see that Bacardi in the back. <laughs> well, yeah, because part of the gifts, gifts of alcohol. Very common. Um, I, I just... It's the repackaging of something that's hokey to begin with. But like, do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you could buy the yeah. entire set for a mere like, you know, oh fuck. I can I can get with the Dia de los Muertes, where people are honoring the dead in their family and they they dress up with it. I can get behind that. But mm -hmm. like this, it's like Saint it's Death. some basic bitch. It's some basic bitch in her Uggs going, "Oh my god!" So I totally went to Mexico this one time. It was Cancun on spring break, and I heard about this. That's hilarious. Yeah. But then when I came back to Ypsilanti, I went down to the local <laughs> shop where they specialize in this stuff, and I got the entire set. I put it on my mom's credit card. The Bacardi. I totally drank that like last night. <laughs> I love, I love the deliberately shaped skulls. You know, this 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 set of stainless steel painted skulls in the back. I don't know for some reason that strikes me as the hokiest thing on the whole table. No, the hokiest thing the on the whole table is the little Mexican black one selling it. You can no longer laugh at me for all of my Nightmare Before Christmas shit because I didn't laugh I'm at you. I I took a, the the picture of the thing I uh, uh that you sent me of the Christmas tree and whatnot. I, oh, my, my Valentine's Oh, card? the Valentine's thing, yeah. The Valentine's bouquet. And I sent that to Pop-Tart because she's a massive fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. And I said, here, look at this. And she goes, that's awesome. I, she she loved it. It was. I wasn't expecting that because I don't do Valentine's Day normally. So that was a pleasant surprise. I was like, oh. <laughs> he knows my love of that movie. Candles. I mean, you know, they're just paraffin wax. With some color in them. They're candles. You know. Gems and crystals that you've tied to a stick. 
Remember when we read the wiki how on how to make a magic wand far? This was part of it. You tie a crystal yeah, to a stick. Yeah, you have to ask the tree for... Yeah, you have to That's ask right. the tree for permission. Yep. You can't just like, grab it. Can I take it. a branch, please? Yep. You, you, you need uh, consent from the tree to grab its branch. Otherwise, that would offend Mother Gaia. And then <laughs> you'd, you'd have to get Extinction Rebellion to walk in circles for hours to uh, make amends. Mm -hmm. Alligator feet. Alligator feet. Yeah. Oh, so All a right. Florida man. So a Florida man is laundering his money through this. Got it. Yes. <laughs> it appears so. It's like, right. I, w this is a high rent district. How is this place even in biz? Oh, it's a front. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's a front. Yes. They were on to the mattress stores. We figured it out, guys. <laughs> Oh, it's too bad that none of these pictures are clickable. I'll be able to see what all these say. Against okay. Envy and it's purple, that should have been green. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity. I mean, this this is the one that kills Buddha. Big fat laughing guy. Buddhism thing. Candle. Spiritualism stuff. Bye. It's just, you know. Change macho. Papa Boca, shut up. Dume. <laughs> Against envy. Yours or someone else's? Got a big old eagle on it. Against all envy, evil, and witchcraft. Okay, so this 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 is your uh you know, shields. Witchcraft against witchcraft, yo. Yeah. Witchception. Witchception. I, I, I would pay real money to hear that narrative told. There was this bitch at high school, and I cast a spell on her, but she didn't understand that I had already lit my purple against envy candle, which totally blocked it. But then I found out later on that she bought some alligator feet, that she used in a magic spell with some <laughs> iron spikes and it undid my shields. So I was vulnerable for like three weeks and didn't know. I, I would love oh to hear that. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to see that told on, I want to see that told on South Park with the goth kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would actually be really great. <laughs> He's a total poser. <laughs> Shut up, mom, get out of my room. <laughs> I don't understand me. This is the wicked version of Hot Topic. Exactly, Justin Wilson. It's right along those lines. Like, I mean, they got the fern, which I'm sure has metaphysical properties like the mystical balls, and, you know, it just, everything is like. No, it's just the white brown death of winter in Michigan's too depressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you got here? Ritual pen. I. Is that just a quill? It... What? What's the pen? Don't the feather. Oh, I see. Because I'm looking at everything. Okay, I just saw the feather now. Because I, I don't know. The turquoise and the white, I didn't clue in. I get it. Okay, yes. Here's the ink. And okay, I just clued in. Gotcha. They bought that at Universal from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and they're upselling it. How dare they? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You think they're doing the like, same with the channel right next to it? For stagecraft, or um, what would you want to call it? Like props for a movie? These scrolls in this book look pretty cool. But I wouldn't yeah. like, buy them and think that they're actually magical or anything. I just think they look kind of cool. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know exactly what you mean. It's like, that's the kind of, that's the one of the only acceptable reasons to buy this shit. It's like, yeah, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> I want to try using a, like, a, a writing quill. You know, with the ink and so shit, do I. I want to. I want to a quill no, pen. I'm not, a... no, I'm not necessarily saying that for myself. I'm just saying like that's the only acceptable well, reason am. to buy this shit. You know what I really want? I want a signet ring and the red wax that you melt with the candle and seal a a, a, a piece of parchment letter that you sent to someone. I want to send somebody a, a parchment letter one time. I <laughs> they really should have put the. Uh, meditating metal skeleton in front of it because it really confuses me because that's what I okay this is what I was looking at I don't know I've been drinking okay I thought this glass thing was the was the the, the pen and it was sitting stabbed into the metal skeleton's head and the skeleton was a holder for the pen I don't know I just, yeah I can see that 
I completely I ignored the, the feather and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Buy crap you could get at the grocery store. Herbs, teas, and ritual materials. Oh, God. And that is it. That is the last one. 31 of 31. Wow. Whew. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here with my black cat looking over at my office closet where my Harry Potter robe and wands from Harry Potter world are right now. Did you buy them for fandom or because you think you can curse bitches? No, I wanted to be a 31 year old running around Universal in California going, I'm a wizard. That's uh, just wanting to have fun. These people live this <laughs> life seriously, okay? <laughs> That's the difference, you know? <laughs> I, I may, I, the thing is, I make enough money now I can fulfill all the childish things I wanted to do that I was too poor to do as a kid. Nate's got a good point. I do need an otter signet ring. See, that everybody who's part of the Golden Otter Club, you know, I want to, uh, you know, send them the otter mug that, that, I'm getting yeah. made up. Yeah, they should get a letter along with it that's sealed with the otter signet ring. Those are actually hey relatively there. cheap if you send them uh, the um Um shit. I just typed in I just typed in otter signet on Google and it immediately went to otter signet ring. Okay, let's take so a look. These things exist. I, I was about to shut the show down. Readily we're, available. Gonna, we're gonna have to take a look real quick. I was going to go with the, uh, the, the the golden otter shaped otter for the signet ring because they're pretty cheap to get made with your family crest or your own name or some image. And then, of course, made in reverse because you want it to come out in the positive. You know what I mean, right? Otter. Oh, signet okay. I see. Ring. Let's see. Yay! There it is. <laughs> A gold otter signet ring. It's it's Oh well that is so expensive though. Holy yeah, it fuck. really is. It really because I mean it's literally made of gold. I could just go with one of the brass yeah. ones is, is fine. The less expensive ones, the ones I'm talking about, are that you can get made easily and cheaply are, are made out of brass because you know yeah. soft metal, easy to form. Brass is cheap. Yeah. And soft enough for them to mill into whatever what are the file names that uh, Adobe um, their vector-based graphics program. What the fuck's it called? God damn it! Uh, Hold on, let me look in my. What is it? Uh, yeah. I'm just... Oh, it's not Photoshop. It's oh uh, shit. We were, they Illustrator. Were just... yes. Illustrator. There we go. Yeah, you just need to send them the. Illustrator file, like the vector-based file of whatever your family crest or your name or whatever, and then yeah, they can have it made on a signet ring. <laughs> oh, speaking of wicked things, if you look, if you had looked at the third row you had up, there was a uh, one of those stars there <laughs> on a signet ring. One of the stars. The little Satan stars. Oh, yeah. pull down. <laughs> it's. Right oh, on yeah. the bottom right. That one? Oh, yeah, there it yeah. is. Silver <laughs> pentagram pentacle ring. Yay. <laughs> Great. It's like that giant pentagram that uh, Stick Sex and Hammer used to wear until he stopped. Look, it looks vaguely Egyptian. That must mean it's powerful and ancient. Oh, wait a minute. This is for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is powerful and ancient. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Actual signet ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no wonder it doesn't look very sharp, if you know what I mean. Because it's probably really, really fucking old. It's, it's... Yeah, and it was probably done by hand. Yes. Like a little scribe. See, I, 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 this is what I want. Little otter head on it, and it's got like a clam in the middle. Signet. It's good. <laughs> so basically, you need the otter from above on that ring. 
No, 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 no. Nothing's a evil one. Nothing says thanks like turning your finger green. No, no, no. I'm not sending them the signet ring. I mean, I need to get the signet ring so I can send them a letter saying thank you that's got the impression in the wax from the signet ring, man. I, what? <laughs> the water. Tee-hee. <laughs> 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 come on it's adorable it makes no sense why did anyone ever make this <laughs> do you okay look at the long ass body on that thing and now you question why i say water ferret and you're like no it's a water dog and i'm like they have a long ass body like ferrets and they get all hyper and like wiggle around like them otters are more ambidextrous they won't they don't have sharp little needle teeth that they bite you with they're not burrowers and they're they're not long skinny rats. A ferret's a long skinny rat. An otter's clearly not a rat. It's an aquatic. Mammal. Otters have otters have sharp teeth that can go through crocodile skin and mollusks. Well, I won't deny you on that one, but whatever. You get my point. All right, we've Just looked at everything, down. and 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 the night is winding down, and so we are going to uh, close up shop here because we've been on plenty long. Wow, yeah. We're at three hour mark. It's time to oh. uh, time to close her down. So I'd like to thank everybody who came and hung, hang, hung fuck I'm drunk, came around tonight. Uh, <laughs> thank you for keeping us company. <laughs> I'd definitely like to thank everybody who kept me company at the bar. That includes Far, Gamer Valine, and Sinatra even for a little bit there. That was cool. And then of course, I would definitely like to thank everybody who tipped the bartender because that's how we keep the lights on and then buy wood for the fire and, and liquor that goes behind the bar so we can all continue to drink. And I can continue to give the state money they don't deserve. Bastards. So they could buy billions of dollars of high-tech military stuff that they leave for a bunch of jihadis. Still angry about Afghanistan. Aloha <laughs> snack bar. Yeah, right. In any case, thank you very much for everybody who came by and donated. Uh, we will see you probably next Friday or Saturday. We're trying to do it every weekend because that's fun. And if Friday didn't work so much, we could do it through the week too. But I mean, <laughs> she's got to have a job. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't apologize for having a job. It's a good thing. Don't be a neat. <laughs> I'm trying not to be. All right, as we always say about this time, after last call, you don't got to go home, but you got to get the fuck out of here. We'll see you next time. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>